Okay. Welcome in, chat. Welcome in. Welcome in. Time to work you into shape. I'm ready to game. Let me go ahead and see this real quick. Um. Oh wow. You know what? I think we have quite a few uh, supports to wa uh, watch and everything. So we'll probably have to do that. Let me go ahead and get that one because that one's about to be maxed out as well. Oh, um, Mercedes, she's maxed out. Oh yeah, I gotta give her Bonite. I can't remember. Does Bonite actually give her something good? Uh, it does actually. <laughs> Funny enough, it actually does. We weren't really expecting it, but that's nice. Um, that's nice. Defense plus two, five, Havis. Yeah, five. Havis would be good. Yeah, she doesn't get Aegis, I don't think. Yeah, no. So that won't help too much. Yeah, that's that's what I'll do. We're gonna have her uh, level up Bow Knight. All right, come on, come on, Mayor Sutis. You're gonna learn how to become a Bow Knight. But how are you all doing? Welcome in. Oh, you know what? I should probably let you all know I'm online. I didn't do any of the uh, notifications or anything quite yet. I also didn't put on my lip gloss that I was gonna put on either, but that's okay. I'll probably put it on in here in a moment. Um, there we go, and we're live. We're live and we're ready. Let me go ahead and do Bow Knight from Mercedes, because honestly, I'm I'm rather enjoying her bow, uh, bow usage. To be honest with you, it does suck that she can't do her magic. But I love tackling a new challenge. I'm enjoying that she's so fucking effective overall, you know? Um, Annette. I think Annette. What was what, what was she gonna get from Wyvern Lord again? Yeah, so like nullify, helm splinter and all that. Not very important. Offensive tactics, one of the times deployed increased damage and Yeah, see that's also pretty un unimportant as well, I would say. What about this one here? Ah, uh, defense compared to her luck. Well, she'd be doing magic damage, so it doesn't really matter as well. Most of this shit really doesn't matter. Um, ooh, I should definitely get uh, Aegis for her. Ah, uh, that would be nice too, but damn. None of these are worth a fuck. You hate to see it. Increase the active unit strength, speed, and resistance by 10. Damn, that's actually pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. First resolve... Ooh, I can honestly do Burst Resolve. That would be rather nice. I'm not going to lie. What does this one give? Wind Assist? What? So she works best as an adjutant, is what you're telling me. That's kind of funny. Then fuck it. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll have her be the best adjutant in the world. What was that for? Uh, Dancer? Yeah, we'll have her uh, do sword fighting for that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like who I want to be what, you know? So I'll have her learn sword fighting. He's learning bow knight because it's not really that integral for him. So we got Felix and Raphael. We got Mercedes and Ingrid. We've got Yudi and Sedith, who's maxed out. I think Yudi's Welcome maxed out. Welcome to the right? internet. He is. No, he's not maxed out with Lila. Oh, no, Lila. Also, oh, what's up, Bruce Lee fan? Welcome to the internet. Nice. Always love that. Always love that. Yeah, I guess Yeti's maxed out. We don't really have to worry about anything from uh, Yeti. No, okay. Um, Shaz and Flane, Annette and Ash, doing Catherine. Let me honestly, Can't let me do the stuff that do. isn't um, training first, and then the training we'll use to kind of clean up whatever we can't get. You know, we all must do our that'll that'll show. be what I try to do. Like right now, I think Felix and. Raphael, yeah. Let's try to get those two closer together. Hunger is the true enemy. So in Dark Souls 3, I'm, I'm at Dancer of the Royal Valley. She's hard. I swear that damn spin attack always gets me. Yeah, she's a pretty she's a pretty difficult fight. A lot of a lot of people tend to get uh, walled at Dancer, so that, that's pretty understandable, Bruce Lee fan. She's a she's a pretty good fight though. One one of my favorites from Dark Souls 3. Um, the one after her tends to be one of the more difficult ones for me. 
Um, and for the people that know the that know Dark Souls Three, I'm talking about the the uh, not the Pilgrim Pilgrim Butterfly. I think that's what it's called. Not the not the really cool one, the really weird one. Raphael and watch motherfucker hate this, doesn't he? Of course you do, Felix. You hate everything. God damn it. Such an asshole. And neither of you like this, do you? Or do you both hate it? <sighs> yep, of course. Okay, there's Fe there's Felix and Raphael. Perfect. Oh, serious? Dragon Slayer armor is tight. Um, but I know in my notes here it tells me to keep my distance, but that isn't doing shit. It's, I will say, that you can take notes on it, but the best way, Solid. So like, I don't know, it depends. There's, it really depends on your build and, like, what's going on. You made this? But a lot of, uh, good. a lot of Dark Souls 3 is just kind of, like, memorizing patterns and reacting accordingly. Wow. But yes, Osiris is not my favorite. So Osiris is annoying. Come back whenever you're hungry. Let me see here. Did I actually max them out? I hope so. Thank God. Cool. So let's see here. Any more supports that are ridiculously close? I think Dimitri. Actually, no. Hold up. I need to get closer. With, okay, Rodrigue's maxed out. Good. I need to get closer with Lilith, Catherine, Geralt, and Flane. Yeah. Ly Lilith, Catherine, Geralt, and Flane. Let's see how well that goes. Hunger is the true enemy. Yeah, we're going to just do that one. Just to get that out the way. Shame. Um, no, I'm on Xbox. Shame. I'd offer to make uh, her spontaneously explode if you were. Have you ever seen my handful of appearances on Edgy, Edgy's uh, Elden Ring streams? You already know what's up, lol. I'm using a dex build with Cell Sword Twin Blades from what the walkthrough says. When you get it to plus 10, it'll be crazy. Oh, yeah, Cell Sword Twin Blades. Those are some of the best weapons <laughs> in the great. game, for sure. It's always fun to experiment, though. Oh, but this is simply scrumptious. Love, love, love Every time I tell people when they go to Dark Souls, uh, a Dark Souls game, try to experiment with a weapon that you'll like, that you, that you enjoy the move set of, you know. You really know your stuff. This is my favorite. Because most of the time, you can make pretty much any uh, build work if you just do it the right way. Come back the build crafting in, the, in the uh, what is it inside of Come that game is pretty hungry. nice. Hunger is the true enemy. Ah, oh, feels much faster. Let's see here. We got Lila and Gerald. Perfect. Attack that actually is perfect. Nice. Um, the Abyss Watchers has been your favorite fight so far. That's pretty nice. I think the Abyss Watchers are a pretty big highlight for Dark Souls Three. Solid. I feel Solid. like the Abyss Watchers, both presence and lore and uh, just just everything. Like I feel like. When you're going through the uh, the, the, the drinks are on me next time. Aeron Swamp. Yeah, because of the Watchdogs, the Pharon, so the Pharon Swamp. I feel like uh, thanks to drinks for me next time. Nice. I might have to pass. We can't have both of us too inebriated at once. <laughs> Anyways, um, as I was saying. Come back whenever yeah, I feel hungry. like that boss fight does Hunger a really good job at getting hungry. people to be. Uh, you know, excited for the uh, boss battles. Like, that that one is just really, really good, I would say. Overall. And let's see here. We got support info. Very few actively dislike them. Yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult. I feel like it'd be pretty difficult to dislike the uh, Abyss Watchers, because they just, they just, they go hard, man. They're just fucking good. I, lo I love them quite heavily. I'd say the uh, the boss the boss fight, the visual design and everything, it's all My really good. Instruction comes at a high price. 
I feel like I've taken a new power, is it? A new power, is it? The stop Excellent. time. A follow-up attack will trigger when time restarts. Based on damage dealt during the stoppage, has a short cooldown time. I feel like I've taken hold of some new power. Is I feel like I've taken hold of something. I have so many fucking levels. Oh, goddamn! Welcome in, Burgess, and welcome in, Mayor Bonnie. Hello, hello. Neglect your daily studies. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm just about to pull up a support while I uh, fix my makeup. I'm about to put on my lip gloss. But what better way? While I get ready to look good, Raphael and Felix get ready to build muscle together. But let me catch up with chat before we get into this. Hey, Felix! Wanna go work out? So stop there, let me catch up with chat. Cell Swords isn't the speedrun, uh, isn't the speedrun weapon, but it's easily one of the best weapons in the game. I need to do soul, soul farm, but that's cool. I got what I needed and I got good. Um, my favorite fight in the series is either Sir Alone, uh, Sir Alone. Ornstein and Smoke or Abyss Watchers. Ah, Sir Alone! Sir Alone's a fun one. Dark Souls 2 had a lot of bosses I liked, and Sir Alone is a good ass boss fight. I like that one. He just feels very fair, you know? He feels like one of the most fair boss fights in all of uh, Souls for me. It's hard to dislike him. Hold up. There we go. Cool. Um, now that I have my lip gloss on. Um, Soul of Cinder was also super tight, especially the Phase 2 music at work right now. That's alright. Um... I also just got Demon Souls in the mail, so after Dark Souls 3, I'm going to play that. Demon Souls, ah, did you get the original or the remake? Osiris was a bastard, though. Yeah, Osiris is annoying. I think he does too much damage, and his uh, running attacks are just too instantaneous. <laughs> look good only for you. Oh, uh, well, I do apologize, Mayor Bonnie. I, de I definitely look good for sp pretty specifically myself, but I'm glad you guys get to enjoy the view as well. Because um, if I tried to look good for... Uh, the majority of people who tend to see me, I would be dressing very different. I, I like I like how uh, what I tend to wear. Um, he got the poise cast uh, casted lightning stake treatment immediately. Sir alone was a fair fight if we ignore the hitbox and his charge attack. I did not have a lot of problems with hitboxes inside of uh, Dark Souls 2. Um, I actually did not know that ADP was really a problem for the majority of my time playing Dark Souls 2, and I very rarely had a hard time with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alex Axie, well, thank you. Thank you, Mirbani. Oh, yeah, you don't have a PS5. That's fair. PS5s are expensive regardless. Quiet! I'll give away my position. Oops. Sorry. Didn't realize you were hunting. I'll just back off and, uh... Whoa. Look at that. What is it? I've never seen a boar that big. If we take it down, we'll eat like kings. Kings, I tell you! And you're going to scare away the boar, Raphael, if you keep talking. Hang on. You don't just rush into a fight against a beast like that. You need the proper equipment. A 50 caliber sniper rifle. Ah, don't worry. Petra taught me a special technique. And what technique is that? Now lead the way, mm. meat buddy. Meat buddy is crazy. Right, I love fine. that. Anyway, as I was saying, if we aren't adequately prepared, we'll be the ones who end up as someone's dinner. Boars are naturally cautious beasts, but this one also appears to be wounded. If it spots us, it'll charge and send us to an early grave. Wait, have you fought one of these before? <laughs> Years ago, but yes. It managed to get away, though. Wow! It must have been one heck of a beast if even you had trouble taking it down. I was about to say, I feel like Felix with his fucking crest would be able to fuck up a boar. I'm not going to lie. House Glethid and House Faldarius used to go on hunting trips together. On one trip, a certain prince bagged so many animals it proved impossible to fit them all on the sled. Meanwhile, I went off hunting on my own, encountered the boar, and barely escaped with my life. Wow, Felix, that's kind of, that's like the biggest skill issue of your life right there. Wait, <laughs> Dimitri want to kill you. 
Or do you mean like an actual boar? While this may not be the same boar, I will get no small amount of satisfaction if we manage to bring it down. Uh, hold on. Who are we talking about here? <laughs> He's like, I'm so confused. Eh, whatever. Let's do this thing! I'll share the spoils with you, but the kill is mine. Now stand back. Damn, okay. Wait, but if you take it on by yourself, won't you just lose again? Are, isn't it still a big skill issue, bro? Aren't you still trash? What did you say? <laughs> Haven't you heard that two fists are better than one? Or, I guess it'd be four fists are better than two. I'm not confident even <laughs> that will be enough. But fine. <laughs> I suppose adding more fists to the mix never hurt anyone. This is so dumb. What a perfect friendship. Oh no. Chersis had spotted us. Nothing for it now. Come on, Raphael. Come at me, boar. I'll punch you so hard the chef won't even need to tenderize you. That's a pretty fire line, I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty god tier line. On, fool. Circle around to the rear. Yeah, circle around to the already charging boar's rear. Real genius, Felix. And how the fuck are you going to do that? He straight up punched yeah! that bitch. Oh my god. He was not kidding. Bro literally punched it. I can't believe we took it down so quickly. Told you this was a four fifths job. <laughs> I guess you did. Maybe there's something to this whole working with friends thing after all. You called me your friend. Took you long enough. <laughs> I fucking love how wholesome Raphael is. He just does not care about Felix's shit. Cram it. We need help <clears throat> clearing this back, so let's go find some extra hands. This Felix, is wait up. This is the wholesome energy I needed. I've missed Raphael. It's been too long without his perfect energy. ADP wasn't an issue for me either. I didn't level it past 12 my main character. Iframes were fine for me. Just took some adjustments. A lot of the hitboxes, especially on either swimming swings or stabs, were just outright bullshit. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I've had more issues with hitboxes in Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne than I ever have in Dark Souls 2. Like, I don't think it's a Dark Souls 2 thing. I think it's just a Dark Souls FromSoft thing, if I'm honest. Because the only FromSoft game that comes to mind... Where I didn't get hit by some literal bullshit is like Sekido. Is the only one where I can think I didn't get hit by bullshit. But that's probably just because you're supposed to parry it, therefore you wouldn't notice if you if there were bullshit hitboxes. Yeah, like honestly, I think Dark Souls 3. I, Ferdinand actually, no, yeah, I take that back. Bloodborne especially. Bloodborne 100 percent of the time has the worst hitboxes. Bar none. I have Bloodborne. Bloodborne, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls 3. 100%. Bloodborne, I would get hit by some nonsense. And... What is it? Dark Souls 3, I would get hit... Like, I don't even want to... Oh my god. No. I'm not even going to get into that. And then Demon Souls, there were few specific attacks. Demon Souls was pretty good, too. Yeah, no. Dark Souls... But Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2... Because that's the thing about hitboxes in, in Dark Souls 2, you can literally walk out the way of most attacks. You usually, I feel like I can never really do that in Dark Souls 3 and other stuff. I mean, maybe it's just the pace of the game, but yeah, like I felt like Dark Souls 2's hitboxes were usually tight enough to where if you were good enough, you could just walk out the way of most attacks. You wouldn't even have to dodge. Kind of like how in Elden Ring you can walk, if you, if you move the proper way, you can walk out the way of attacks. <sighs> what are these people thinking approaching Garrick Mach through that insufferable valley? It is undoubtedly unbearably hot, the paths are precarious, and dangers lurk around every corner. Oh, what misery. It's so depressing, in fact, that I want to go to bed. I want to go back to bed. My teeth are good, good. Good, good, good. I did not spread my uh, makeup all over my teeth. Um, uh, let's see. You know what? We I need more of Felix. Uh, let's get Felix and his daddy issues on here. Sit down, Felix. Send dudes. You mean nudes? No, I'm in a fight. I need more men. This board's fighting back. You know what? That's fair to say about Bloodborne, to be honest. Some of the boxes are shit. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, regard. Okay, I will say, yes, I am biased. Bloodborne is either my least favorite Soul Soulsborne game, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's a really good game. But my god, I will say that, like, when stuff would hit me in Bloodborne... It was extra insulting. Because the thing is, is the damage you take in Bloodborne is, like, usually one shot. Like, in Bloodborne, you'll get one shot, 
So if there is a bad hitbox in Bloodborne, it's more punishing because the game itself, you have less health. You know? So like, unlike Dark Souls 1, where if you get hit by one move, it's not the end of the world, you can get out the way, heal, or whatever. Um, Dark Souls 2, you get hit by one, as long as you're not flinching from it, or a grab attack, you're usually fine. But Bloodborne, most attacks do so much damage that if you got caught by something, it was just fucking over. So, yeah, that's... At least for me. Can we make this quick? I'm busy. Damn. Aggressive. But all respects to uh, all the Soulsborne games. I love all of them. In their own way. I can rank them... I can rank them in order of most loved to least loved, but they're all loved. They all hit that category. Of course, hitboxes seem horrid because you had a very... had very few iframes, purely because of the ballerina quickstep bullshit had while locked. Unlock dodging or using Hunter Bone made them appear completely fine, purely because you actually had iframes. Let's help really? I've never noticed. I never quite seem it never quite seemed like that to me, but then I was very specific about different types of damage mitigation based on clothes lol. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like I have never died faster other than in Bloodborne. Blood I you I feel like you die instant fucking taneously in Bloodborne. But dark but that's the same thing with Dark Souls 3, Endgame Elden Ring. You know, you, you get in you get in. An enemy smacks you, and that's most of your fucking, uh, most of your health. For once, would you please just... No. Not today. The truth is, I think it's time we sat down and talked. Ooh, okay. Neither of us know which day could be our last. So we should both ensure there's no lingering regret when the time comes. Look at Rodrigue being mature. He usually is, so I'm not surprised. Well, this is off to a grim start. So, what is it you want to talk about? He wants to solve your daddy issues before he dies. I wanted to apologize for what I said about Glenn. Ooh! It was ill put, and I'm sorry. He is undaddying the issues, Devin. It's working. Actually, I can't say it's working. I think it's good. To be fair, I don't... It, it's up to if Felix wants to fucking listen or not. That's, that's really how it is. <laughs> it depends on how well Felix is at taking an apology. Oh? I should never have said such a thing in your presence. Wow. If you're going to explain yourself, I suppose I can make the time to hear you we out. We should give Felix a fucking Nobel Prize for that response. This man just turned into a different character with that response. What the fuck? I'm impressed. I'm kidding. It's not inconsistent. It, it was definitely a response that he would make, but I'm just surprised he didn't punch him in the face. <laughs> like, to be honest. Thank you. Then I will not mince words. I too was mortified by Glenn's death. I bet you were mortified by your son's death. I would only hope. Yet he perished a hero. He chose that life for himself, and he chose that death. He fought to protect the future of Fargus and his friend until his dying breath. And see, and you know what, Rodrigue? I totally understand where you're coming from. What you said isn't wrong, but I will say you said it to the wrong person. Because it's it's different, you know? Like, I understand. It's because the, there's such a big perspective change there. And, of course, he's going to take it differently than you are. As his father, I felt I had to acknowledge that choice. Yeah, like, that's... Your cope versus his cope are very different. And how are you so sure it was his choice? Neither of us really knows what he was thinking. Oh, and here it is. Okay. The boar might have an inkling, but all he goes on about is how he caused Glenn's death. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You're right. I don't know for certain. Mm. But I know what I would have done had I been there. And you, Felix? What would your choice have been? Ooh, this is a spicy intervention. Would you have abandoned his majesty to save yourself? Or... Would you have chosen to fight until death claimed you? Ooh, hit him with the big questions. Let's, okay, okay. I myself would have safeguarded his majesty at all costs. I know that it wasn't in Glenn's nature to flee either. It's always about courage or cowardice with you. I wouldn't have chosen anything. When your life's on the line, you don't have time to think about that stuff. Only act. I would have fought with my own will in whatever way I thought best. And I would have made sure we both survived. <sighs> I don't even know what to say to that. It's he's got that fucking 
glare in his eye too while saying it. It's you always want to have it both yep. ways. Still, I take pride in that determination of yours. Felix is one of the most determined determined motherfuckers I've ever seen. He you literally just said, "Okay, it's only this or this." And he said, "Motherfucker, I will have both. You will not make me choose." Had I been there, I doubt I could have summoned the resolve to strive for such a victory. More likely, I would have been satisfied merely to die in the defense of my liege. Well, Felix is built different. I mean, I can understand that way of thinking. In fact, I always have. Is that understanding? My God. But I still okay. couldn't stomach Glenn's death being glorified. Yeah. And I'm sorry for that, Felix. Truly. It's all right. And I'm glad we talked. Also, you said we shouldn't leave regrets behind, so... I'm sorry, too. For hitting you back then, I mean. I'm sorry, Father. Wow. This is a lot from him, damn. You know, I'd almost forgotten about that. <laughs> it hurt, too. <laughs> More than any blow I've received in battle. He literally has the best crest of your lineage and then fucking sucker punched you across the mouth. I'm certain. His crest is literally just do more damage. I am beyond certain that backhand he gave you or fucking sucker punch, whatever it might have been, was the most fucking painful thing in the world. You weren't even geared up for it either. You were neither emotionally nor physically prepared for that shit. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Now, if we're done here, I'm leaving. Bro, what'd you think of the vids? Which vids? I'm sorry. What videos? What videos? I'm not too sure what we're talking about. You have to let me... Remind me so I know what we're talking about. Videos? Oh! The uh, ones you sent me last... Uh, the ones I was sent last... Oh, the ones you sent me last night? Oh, yeah, I saw them. Yeah, it was the Batman one, which I thought was hilarious, and the Grim Reaper one, which was also hilarious. And funny enough, Golden Swordsman, I actually sat down and watched the Skyrim Brain Rot one with a friend of mine at work today, which was absolutely hilarious as well. Counterpoint, Doll's Dress. Counterpoint, Drip? Question mark? You know what? We have so many supports to go through. Start piling it on. You know, I want to talk to Rodrig. He has intervention with his son. Now it's my turn. Hey, Rodrig. Looking for something specific? I am. It's a book called Keyhole's General Treatise on Mercenaries. I was hoping to brush up a bit. I still cannot handle the fact that Keyhole is, is written C-I-C-H-O-L. Keyhole. The I... The C makes a K. The I makes an E. The, sec, the next C is silent. And then the H-O-L makes an H-O-L-E sound. What the fuck? <laughs> do, do not tell me the... The Kitchell or the Sitchell is Keyhole. I can't. Hmm, sounds familiar. Pretty sure I skimmed through it back at the Academy. Are you going to use it for the next campaign or something? Um, well, perhaps. Uh, Rodrigue, is everything okay? You're not really the kind of guy to skirt around answers like that. Oh, usually he's pretty confident. If I may, do you remember when we faced Gerald and his mercenaries in battle? Yeah, that was yesterday. How could I forget? Things got pretty intense out there. We dodged through everybody. Indeed they did. And that battle is the reason they opted to join our cause. One mistake is all it would have taken for us to suffer a crushing defeat. Thankfully, we managed to seize the initiative ourselves and emerge victorious. Had we not, our main camp would surely have fallen. I expect I too would have lost my life in the fray. Yeah, it felt like there was danger lurking around every corner. Almost like I was walking on thin ice. Never sure when it was going to crack beneath me. Side tangent? Um, small one, by the way. Rodrigue is still S tier as far as the haircut tier list, by the way. Bro's got them luscious locks. 
It frustrated me to no end, both as a warrior and a commander. To see such foresight, such clever strategies emerging from the other side. Without the wisdom of our predecessors, I would never have been able to assess the situation. Yep. Hence why I again find myself here seeking knowledge. Yep, Rodrigue with S-tier -S hair. I have it right here. He's next to Hanneman, Bernadetta, Sylvain, Shamir. Sorry, Sylvain, Bernadetta, Hanneman, Shamir, and Rodrigue. All with that pre-time skip S-tier haircuts. You never fail to impress me, Rodrigue. All those years of experience, and you still have the drive to sit down and study tactics in your time off. Well, yeah, you can always improve. I merely despise the idea of defeat, nothing more. I lack the cunning of the Margrave. And unlike Lambert, I lack the overwhelming courage necessary to turn the tide of battle on my own. <laughs> He's like, I'm literally just a guy. Which is why I must learn as many strategies as I can. It's the only way I can prevail over those both wiser and braver than I. He's like, I don't have the morale nor the skill. I have to figure something out. You know, you've said before that you and Felix don't have a whole lot in common. Ooh. But I'm not so sure that's true. Neither of you miss a single chance to improve yourselves. That is actually very true. Guess the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. That goes for Dimitri, Sylvain, and yeah, even Felix. As for you, Rodrigue, I think all that hard-earned knowledge is exactly what makes you the incredible commander you are. Rodrigue is a pretty fantastic leader. So him being a holy knight allows him to heal and protect his people. And him being on top, like, it's just... I think I, I did a long tangent when I first saw him, but yeah, he's a fantastic unit as a leader. <laughs> I'll spare you the humility and just accept the compliment. Thank you. I bet you could even beat the Margrave or the former king if you took him on now. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Both of them were far beyond my reach in their prime. And the Margrave aside, I could never hope to meet Lambert as equals. I'd struggle for an eternity without ever growing close to his might. They are kind of freakishly inhuman with their strength, so... I guess you can't exactly catch up to someone when they're gone. Th yeah, right, right. Perhaps not. But that's exactly why we must continue learning. To never stop reaching for those who seem beyond our grasp. Gotcha. And I'm just gonna have to follow in your footsteps. Wholesome. I'll catch up to you before you know it, Rodrigue. Just don't go dying on me before I get the chance. I like how Rod Rieg is just like the stepfather to every single person in this game. Like, I, that's just so wholesome. He's just so supportive and hopeful for every person ever. He's like, it's incredible. He truly is just kind of a, just a fantastic human being, to be honest. Is that so? Then I suppose I'll have to work even harder to give you a proper challenge. Oh, yeah. You were looking for Keyhole's treatise, right? Let me go ask if anyone knows where it is. Oh. Will I really make it home next winter? He is kind of worried about not making it home. That's depressing. Bro's gonna make me sad. What do you think, Lawrence? Are you sad? Hmm. Now that the Alliance's forces have joined us, we should be returning to Claude's command. However, we will continue to work with you all until we've reclaimed the monastery. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I was worried you all would cut out of, out of here as soon as you could. We fought so many battles together at this point, it's like you belong here anyway. The order comes from Claw, but it was never our intention to leave part way through. We are proof of the friendship between the Kingdom and the Alliance, so to speak. We appreciate your continued cooperation. Rose fucking... <laughs> it's so stupid. His posh laugh will always make me laugh, regardless of how many times I hear it. Okay, let's see. What supports do I need to get closer? I think Yudi maxed his out, right? Yeah, we have Numb with Lilith. I've already seen the ones with Balthus. And then there's the one with me, so he's fine. Sedith is already maxed out with everybody. Okay. Lane is maxed out with... is almost maxed out with me. Then we have Ash. Yeah, so she's pretty much maxed out. Catherine has me and Dudu and Shamir. Oh, Jesus. And the Shamir is, like, super high level. I think Violet only has, like, actual 
Yeah, it has with me and Geralt. Okay. So I'll probably do Lyle and Geralt real quick. Care to make yourself useful? I would. I would care to make myself useful. God damn it. Okay, but. Oh, nice, that actually went pretty fucking well. Uh, I worry this old man held your kids back. Actually, by the way, for anyone who didn't know, I was uh, playing this game, and I finally figured out why Geralt lived so long. It's apparently like. It's funny how you can play a game like this and it would actually give you, like, lore that you wouldn't have thought of immediately. It just kind of has it there in the background for you to figure out on accident. Like, I just love that. I love that you can just accidentally figure out huge pieces of lore. To worry about with the dynamic duo of the Knights of Saros are together again at last. Now let's get to work. Ignore her. Once she gets going, there's no stopping it. <laughs> Welcome in, Senpai. Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. Indeed. You coward. Teamwork is the key to you make me sick. You would have jump scared me pathetic. had I not literally been looking at the chat right as you did that. I, I happened to be glancing over the moment that went off. Um. Eric Mock lies before us at last. The final piece of our strategy. The enemy could be lurking anywhere, though, so we need to keep our wits about us. We're going to have a long list of, like, you know, talking to characters and everything before the battle, by the way. Because uh, this doesn't have any extra missions. It's literally just the main battle after this. So if you're curious on why I've not started any battles yet, 40 minutes in. But it's perfect for guerrilla tactics. The enemy is not the only one who will be taking advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, it is going to be a mess. Excuse me. Hmm. What, we, what must we do to attain victory over such a fierce opponent? I speak of your next goal. I wish to be of as much use to you as I can, seeing as we're partners in destiny. Strength alone will be insufficient. We must be clever as well. You know, I really have to give it to you, Arvel. I thought you'd be bitching that uh, we're fighting alongside Byleth, but you're not bitching. And you know what? I'm happy for that. Oh, yeah. His Majesty and Felix re have really risen to the occasion. Ten years ago, they were squabbling over who broke whose sword. Now look at them. One's a king and the other's a duke. They're fighting at each other's side, issuing orders to other lords. Well, lie, it's still hard to believe. Maybe it's time to get my act together, too. Calm down, Sylvain. You have your act together. It's all right. It's fine. Fine. You know what? Speaking of Sylvain, let's watch his stuff. Let's watch him not have his act together with uh, Ingrid. Right. I love that the vo <sighs> they all have voice acting. I understand why they couldn't do full animations on everything. So I am glad that the voice actors got plenty of time to really cook. To, like, r really give them the impact that they couldn't do with the animation. I think somebody in chat did talk about uh, how they could they could honestly make an anime based off of this game simply because of how good the characters are. And honestly, I kind of stand by that. The only pro like, the biggest issue, though, is, like, how they they'd go about the writing. It's like, what house would they go with? And to be honest, the problem is, is if they didn't go... I feel like... Like, I, I don't know, because I feel like Black Eagles would be the most divisive and probably one of the more interesting ones for storytelling. Um, especially if you have, if you go down the church route, to like, you know, break away from Edelgard. Like, I feel like the church route could be one of the more interesting, but then I feel like Golden Deer would be, like, the most, like, overall, like, it would show you the most about the world. But then the kingdom is the most personal, once again. So, like, that's really where it runs into an issue. And at that point, do they make three fucking animes? I mean, I'm sure people would watch it. And I feel like you absolutely could. But then it would probably be a little repetitive. So that's that's kind of the issue I see with that. But regardless, they really they could. That was quite the sigh. What's the matter, Sylvain? They would have to pick only one house, though. I feel like if they did all three, it'd be repetitive. Oh, nothing. Well... Except there's a guy in my unit who keeps acting up, and I'm not sure what to do. Unless they made it really different for each one. You don't Which say. they could. If they made it, like, really, really different, that could that could mean a lot. <laughs> I don't think I like the face you're making. Because you know how, like, the uh, the game normally has you... Oh, you go fight Miklon. Like, at, no matter whose house you are, you go fight Miklon. Have, you, have the, uh, what is it, the Miklon thing only be if you're doing Blue Lions. 
Like, have them do missions relevant to their house at the time, you know? You'd have Let to... Let me ask, just to be sure. Is this mysterious troublemaker, in fact, you? Ooh! Hey, I've changed. I swear I have. But no, it's not me. It's one of my knights. He keeps walking around breaking stuff and getting into fights. And I'm spending all my time apologizing for it. Oh, boy. So you finally understand how I felt. You know, I never thought this day would come. You really have changed, Sylvain. Perhaps this warrants a celebration. <laughs> then you better bring your purse because I'm ordering two of everything. <laughs> Seriously, Ingrid, you don't have to sound that impressed. I love the difference between the wink and the pissed <laughs> expression on screen. With school suspended and the war raging, we've all had to adapt to changing circumstances. Felix and Dimitri both succeeded their fathers. And they're now burning the candle at both ends, right? I can't go around causing trouble with unending scandals when I'm supposed to be the mature one of the bunch. <sighs> it is wonderful to see you turn a new leaf. She, is, she can't even talk about anything other than, wow, you're not just fucking bitches on the regular. I'm proud of you. You're not, you're not a man-ho. I, I told you to stop sounding so impressed. Ugh, I suppose I had this coming. <laughs> I am sorry, Sylvain. I was only teasing. Think of it as payback for everything you put me through. Still, not having to clean up after you has been a real weight lifted from my shoulders. Yeah, I was a handful in my wild days. But looking back, I really appreciate everything you did for me. It's interesting, because I feel like stuff like this is made way more apparent, way more like valuable if you've played three houses. So I have noticed there are some things in this game, if you, if you take it in without actually the context of three houses, it is going to be less impactful, but they do a decent enough job. In that case, you should make the change permanent so you never cause trouble for anyone again. Damn. Though, honestly, I do not really know what to do with myself now that I am not spending all my time apologizing for you. Frankly, I was convinced you were useless without me. Uh, wow. Sorry. Again. Please, no. You gave me experience I'd never have gotten otherwise. If I were truly miserable, I would have abandoned you to the wolves long ago. Besides, it wasn't all bad. You were the one who finally coaxed me from my room after Glenn's death, remember? Wow, that's a heavy thing to drop mid-convo. Okay, I I'm confused. Do you want me to go back to being a huge flirt, or...? He's like, are you what are we talking about right now? Don't be ridiculous. I mean, you did that's not a no. That's <laughs> figured. As you said, we have all had to adapt to changing circumstances, which means we cannot cling to the past forever. You and I are no exception. It is merely a touch sad to come to the realization. Wow, that's a... That's a depressing thing to talk about. All right. Well, let's try to dodge depressing and go talk to Mercedes. Nope, we're not going to do that because that will be depressing. We'll go talk to Dudu. Or better yet, Dudu is going to talk to Catherine because I doubt one's going to be depressing with Catherine there. That just wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> Damn, are you pissed or what? Are you, was that just like you're just you're tired or what was that? Oh, Dudu. Must be my lucky day if I'm running into you here. What? Hey, what's with the scowl? Do we have a problem? Catherine, you lose the 1v1. I'm sorry. All the residents in this town are people of Dusker. And you're mad, I guess. It may be within the kingdom, but it holds neither monastery nor church. What is your reason for coming here? I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Wait, Dimitri and Lady Rhea didn't tell you? They did not. Uh, I know everyone's been busy, but that's unacceptable. Well, there was a major fire here, right? Lady Rhea asked us to come help rebuild. We brought rations, too. Never hurts to have a little more food in your stores. So relax, please. I swear on the goddess herself that we don't intend to harm any of you. <laughs> so this just made a lot more sense now. He was like, is she really here to purge all the people of Duskar? This is fucked. I did ask his majesty to spare some aid in rebuilding the town, but I did not expect the task to fall to you. You know what? I can't even be mad because Catherine is usually only sent to places to kill people. She's never sent anywhere as like a protection thing. She's only sent out to kill, never to defend. So like, I'm not even, 
I'm not even surprised that's his reaction. What kind of church are we if we don't help those in need? Besides, we owe Fargus quite the debt. I'm officially over the halfway mark on Final Fantasy 1. Fuck yeah, senpai! You guys took us in, even going as far as to start a war with the Empire in the process. This is the least we can do to return the favor. Has it still had really good gameplay throughout the game so far, Senpai? Surely the Knights of Saros have long since repaid their debts on the battlefield. Maybe the Knights have, but the monks and scholars won't let us hear the end of it if we don't let them pitch in too. So when Lady Rhea heard about the fire, she apparently jumped at the chance to help. Is that so? I know the people of Dusker will have their concerns, since they're not followers of Saros. But it'll all be fine. And we can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs while people out there desperately need help, can we? At least, that's how all of us who follow the teachings of Lady Rhea view it. Hmm. He's like, hmm, you're not sitting here to kill people? That's surprising. And you know what? I agree! You know what? You're free to supervise if you still don't trust us. No. You seem to be speaking the truth. His eyes are, his face is so sharp that he's cutting straight through your fucking soul with his eyes. His Majesty has expressed similar sentiments in the past. I believe your desire to help is sincere. Thanks, to do. I was starting to think you were about to tell us to pack up and go home. <laughs> well, now that we're all square on that front, point us toward what needs the most help. We'll do manual labor, planning, you name it. In that case, I'd ask that you clear away the burnt wood and help distribute food to the townsfolk. I will explain to everyone what you're doing here. Yes, that's... Probably for the best. I'm sure they'll be much more willing to listen to you. Anyway, we'd better get to work. Yep. Yep. It's pronounced doo doo. I mean, the dewey. The dewey. What the fuck? The dewey? <laughs> I could not imagine. I don't think I could take it seriously if it was pronounced the dewey. That's. I would be distracted every time he was on screen. Holy shit, I have to talk to so many people. You know what? Ash had his moment with Yudi. Let's let's have his moment with me. What's he going to do? What you, what you got, Ash? Lay it hmm. on me. It's been a while since we sent that letter. But we still haven't received a response. God damn it. How are you going to tell Yudi off and then go right back to crying? I believed in you. Yeah. We know the village chief got it though. I was finally hyping you up, Ash, and then and then you go and do this. Come on now. And we know he read it. The soldier who delivered it confirmed as much. But he never wrote back. I wonder why. He hates you. Hard to say. Maybe he just doesn't want to get involved. And maybe he doesn't remember us. Part of me almost wonders if my mom didn't make him promise not to tell me anything. Not that I have any proof she'd do that. Mm. It's fine, honestly. If he's not going to respond, then it's probably just a dead end. And you're okay leaving it be? I mean, yeah, I want to know more about my mom. But it's not the end of the world if I can't. You tell them. You had to give up learning about your parents too, right? I did, but... No matter what kind of past my mom had, she'll always be my mom. And I'll always be me. Look at that. I know that she put every bit of herself into raising me, and that's what matters. There's nothing more important than that in my book. You're right. Whatever your parents did before they had you, and wherever they are now, they'll always be your parents. Look at you, Ash. You're not crying. I'm proud of you. Glad you understand. I, I am too. And hey, not knowing the truth lets me make up all sorts of stories about her in my head. <laughs> oh, you mean like imagining she was actually a high-ranking noble, forced into obscurity. Not a bad idea, mm. but not totally original either. I was thinking more along the lines of a legendary knight, known throughout every inch of Fodlin. Mm. Or maybe a mysterious adventurer who came from somewhere far beyond its borders. And she had to sh settle down after taking an arrow to the knee. <laughs> it would oh be incredible God. if it were true. And it would certainly explain why she was so knowledgeable. Still, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the end. Oh my god. The, the, uh. It's all good, Ash. Without you, I never would have spent all this time thinking about my mom and who she really was. So even though we came up empty-handed, 
I'd say the journey itself was entirely worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably get going. Just remembered I've got a huge to-do list and not nearly enough time to do it. See ya! Oh boy, what's he gonna say? Huh? I could have sworn I saw the commander here a moment ago. Oh Jesus Christ, did he send a letter back? Oh, you just missed them. I can take a message if you want, though. In that case, please deliver this letter. Oh my God! Of course. Of course, the letter finally came. <laughs> Fucking course. Oh my God. Um. Ooh, Byleth and Shez. What actually would they talk about? I've been waiting for this one. You ready for this? Okay, hold up. We get to a chat. Welcome in, vacated crab. The only problem I have the, uh, is the frequency of encounters are a bit too often. Uh, yeah, that can be pretty annoying when you're trying to travel in certain games and they constantly have you fighting people. It's like, damn, let me move. I, I get that sentiment. Come at me. No hesitation. <sighs> you actually managed to dodge that. <sighs> Not sure dodge is the word I'd use. I just let my power loose without even thinking. Guess I'm still no match for you. Give yourself a little credit. It took everything I had to keep up. If you could avoid an attack like that, then you're easily on par with me. Well, Byleth still has such a monotone voice. But you barely even used your power. You know, the one that throws off your enemy's perception or whatever. I wouldn't have stood a chance if you hit me with that. So you've noticed it. Yeah, well, she also has the power to stop time, so of course. How could I not? We fought about a million times by now. Your power's not exactly visible, so it's definitely tougher to catch on to than mine. But I've experienced your kind of beat down firsthand, so I'm painfully aware of the damage you can inflict. Sorry about that. I couldn't afford to pull any punches back then. It's fine. Water under the bridge. So... Have you had your power for long? Where'd you learn it? I was kind of wondering if I could pick it up myself. I only became aware of it when I was fighting hard against you. But I don't think it's something a person can learn. Even I barely understand how it works. Right. Gotcha. Sounds like we're in the same boat then. I mean, yeah, that does sound basically yes. the same. Just two strange people with even stranger powers. And... I'm not only talking about your sword. Byleth says fanfiction win. I need it. I'm kind of obsessed with the adult version of Poof from the Fairly Odd Parents. I really want to draw a piece, piece of him. I didn't know they had an adult version of Poof from Fairly Odd Parents. Hmm? Do you ever feel like there's some sort of mysterious presence within you? Oh boy. Oh. Uh, uh Arvel. It's just that sometimes it's hard to tell what you're thinking. Like you get distracted by something from time to time. Almost like you're talking to someone else. Inside your head. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the voices. Are you asking because that's what happens to you? Oh, there we go. Dodge that question. No, it was just something I noticed. I simply thought I'd ask. Listen to that absolute yes, no. No. It uh, no. Yeah, definitely a yes, no. Okay, yes. If you say so. Right, if, if, if you say so. We were like him too. Arval, you mentioned me, bitch. <laughs> That's just OCD. The voices, they won't stop. They won't go away. <laughs> At long last, it seems we'll be able to return to Garrick Mach. The monastery is like home to me. It is the only place I can imagine going back to. I vow to do my very best, so I hope you will all lend me your strength. Once we're safely behind uh, behind Garrick Mach's walls again, I hope we can reopen the Officer's Academy as well. A moment. I know this terrain for Garrick Mach to LL well. I shall act as our guide. Of course, the Archbishop will be leading us in battle and is prepared to employ the full might of the Knights of Saros. If we squander this opportunity, so too goes our chance to retake Garrick Mach. We must succeed at all costs. The goddess's protection is on our side. Let us fight together to claim victory. You tell him, Sedith. You tell him. Um, did I get any weapon to go along with Byleth or no? 
Oh no, I got the tan uh, Tantalum bow. What crest does it have? I can't tell. Does it say what crest it is? It's a weird... It's like a diamond shape. See you around. Who do I have with that crest? Does it say crests anywhere? Where is it at? He's got a... Oh, it might be for him. Hold up. No, it's for Mercedes. Okay. Okay, so it's Mercedes's crest. It's the uh, the crest of Lamine. Okay. Hey there. Need something? Stores a lot, large amount of HP at regular intervals. See, that would be fantastic. But here's the problem. That scales with strength. I need it to scale with magic. See you around. So, like, literally that's pointless to use, right? Because if I go out of my way to get Mercedes, her strength is 26. Like, come on. Come the fuck on. That's abysmal. I'm especially compared to that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no one else has it, of course. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of shitty. Well, hey there. See you around. I won't hey be there. bothering with Need that something. then. Not reforge repair. My bad. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Not bad. Is this it? Not bad. It's all okay. It's all okay. Reasonably useful. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything. What do you think, use. Ash? Hey. They say that long ago this area wasn't a valley, but a lush, vast forest. But when the goddess saw how thoroughly corrupt humans had become, she flew into a rage. She unleashed divine judgment from the heavens, reducing the entire region of Alel to ash. Do you think the flames are still burning under the ground after all this time? No, they're burning above ground in the fucking lava that's everywhere. Also, I apologize, guys. It's been an hour, and we've yet to make it to combat. But today's a chill day, apparently. We're just bullshitting and laughing. And you know what? I'm all for it. Oh, first time chatter. Welcome in, Epic Sax Guy. Oh, that hey. is the you best fucking too? name. I love that. I absolutely love that. Also, hold up. I got to check their, their Fire Emblem emotes. We have, to, we have to look at these. Bear with me, chat. I see we got male Shez singing a tune. I can't tell who's in the hat with the, looks like the little ball things from part two JoJo's. I see uh, Dorothea with her adorable hat. I can't tell who's after Dorothea. We've got Edel, Edelgard with her fucking cinnamon bun hair that looks atrocious. Sylvain being amazing as always. Claude the best character. We've got, <laughs> we've got Flane and her damn fish. <laughs> Hilda and a fan, of course. I swear to God, is that Gatekeeper? We love Gatekeeper. Looks like Mercedes. I can't tell who it is in blue hair, to be honest. Balthus's fucking six-pack that I would love to rub my face down. Then we've got Yudi, the fucking self-insert for some fucking reason. I still don't know who stalked me and put me in a video game. I would like to know. Um... And it, you know what's really funny? We just watched the fucking video about him having allergy problems all, like, during yes last night's stream. And guess what I was being fucking bothered with all day today at work? Allergies! Love that, love that. And then Constance losing her mind and Hoppy being upset with the world. Love, love the emotes, by the way. They're all incredible. Said it another time. Flane and I were trapped in the McDonald's play place chez. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's great is that my OCD significantly went down from when I left the school. I wasn't happy with, with and found, uh, happy with and found myself in Twitch communities. Oh well, nice vacated crap. I'm glad you did. According to my list, Byleth has a flames crest. Yes, yes they do. Did you not know that? Did you not know they had the crest of flames at her noise? Tech stream topic. I like all the fire emotes and the Organa profile pick. You and me both, Edgy. You and me both. Where is? Yeah, here, I can check that, but I'm going to continue this. Um, yeah. Peace nice response. Up, We're on the same side now, remember? Yes, but I'm scared. 
Oh, so that's adult poof. Okay. Where's that from? Is that actually from the TV show? I know. Guess I'm just not used to it yet. I'm used to you trying to kill me. We're not getting paid to kill each other anymore. We can just sit here like normal folks and catch some fish. You don't find it weird at all? You're a mercenary, right? For us, there's no such thing as friends or foes once that contract's paid. Yeah, I know that too. You, um, uh, don't remember me, do you? Should I? I used to run with Burling's mercenaries. Burling? Ah, uh, yes. That woman was an army unto herself. Yeah, but you and your company wiped us out. <gasps> oh, my captain, my comrades. Yep. Every last one of them died in that battle. So that's what this is about. You have a grudge against me? <laughs> He's like, you, you want to you duke it out right now? No. no, I don't. Wouldn't be much of a merc if I held a grudge against everyone I fought. But it was tough at the time. I really liked that scruffy crew. All of us got along, even the captain. They were the best group I'd ever been with. And now you're with an even better group, though, so it's it's fine. After what happened, I made myself a promise. I was gonna get stronger, and someday I would defeat you and the Ashen Demon. But we're allies now, so you're gonna have to let that go, huh? Maybe, maybe. Looks like it. But you know, part of me is relieved. I don't think I could have beaten the Ashen Demon anyway. <laughs> hey now, what about me? Or are you saying you could take me? Is that a bet? Oh, no, unless I try. By the way, for a regular guy just catching some fish, you haven't even got your hook on. Yeah, well, these old mitts aren't exactly made for tying tiny knots. Wait, then how are you... How are you fishing without a fucking hook? Give it here. I'll do it. <laughs> Not half bad, kid. Thanks. People call you a legendary mercenary, but you're a lot less dexterous than I imagined. I totally forgot to ask this. Epic Sax guy, going off of the emotes. Who's your um your big uh fan of Fire Emblem Three Houses? What was your favorite house? Um, both for Three Houses and Three Hopes, if you've played both. I would love to know which one was your favorite and why. And don't 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 uh, don't be afraid. You're not gonna you're not gonna be attacked for having a different opinion. I I, I don't do that nonsense here. Legendary is what they call dead people. <laughs> I'm still alive and kicking, you know. You're just archaic. You're so damn old. Hey, and about what happened with Berlin. I'm sorry. The whole thing was just two minor lords trying to get the better of each other. If Burling hadn't come for us, we could have avoided all the bloodshed. But she came roaring in, yelling that she would take us down and make a name for herself. Of course. My kid couldn't afford to hold back at that point. I know that doesn't make it better, but I hope it helps. No, no, I feel like personally that does help because what that's doing is that's giving an explanation. You have to be able to give an explanation and that goes a long way because you have to realize Yes, you may not. They just want to get the job done, but of course, the, it it gives a perspective on the situation. You know. What's done is done. You were just doing your job. I know that. I can absolutely respect that. Byla's special weapon should be sword class then. Yeah, no, I know Byla's special weapon is a sword. There's there's is the sword of the creator. Yeah, that. It's, uh, I, I don't have it, because, uh, I'm assuming you probably have to get it from a paralog, but I think chat said I don't get the paralog, because I don't have Leone on my team. Um, he's a perfect mix of both his parents. He got Wanda's smarts in Cosmo's class. Yeah, Fairly Odd Parents got a new reboot recently. Oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, I think he's gone, uh, too bad Morgana fans are super rare. Morgana fans? Hey there. I still... Who's Morgana? Why does that name around. sound familiar? Have we talked about them in chat before? Honestly, I have no idea. That's alright. Gotcha. Glad to have them in here for a second. <laughs> Welcome. The cat from Persona 5. Lunch. Oh, wait. Meeting a fan of that is rare? I thought most people who played Persona 5 were big fans of everything Persona 5 related, so I'm surprised. 
but that's a rare occurrence. Garrick mocks smack dab in the middle of Fodlin, mm. right? I know it's got yeah. historical significance, but is it really worth sacrificing so many lives over? Let's see. It's a huge building, probably with some crazy catacombs underneath. Who knows what kind of secrets might be hiding down mm. there? You think so too, huh? There definitely were some suspicious passages beneath the mon monastery. Yeah, literally, yes. You, you should know. You lived in abyss, woman. That's concerning. Hmm, it sure feels strange, fraternizing with our arch enemies. But bridging the gap is all part of the fun. I suppose you didn't get the pun. You see, it's a play on arch enemies and bridging the gap. <laughs> what do you think? I've been really sharpening my joke skills these past two years. Shut the fuck up, Halloween's. I had our formations adjusted so that I could avoid the knights. Well, Lady Rhea specifically. I didn't expect that she'd come to this camp herself. I doubt the Kingdom Army expected it either. I, to ask, I don't mind if you talk to Lady Rhea, but just keep us out of it. And especially don't mind... And don't mention Ly uh, Lilith. The two of them have a bit of a complicated history. I wonder what their history is in this game, particularly. Got a minute? Are we sure Her Grace the Archbishop should be commanding the front lines? It could get real hairy out there. Can she even fight? I thought I did hear she took command during the battle when the monastery fell. At any rate, we can't let anything happen to her. Gotta stay sharp out there. You know, I'm still surprised she doesn't just go full dragon mode when she's on the battlefield. I feel like that would just give a huge advantage. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe people would not like to see that. I would love to see that, but maybe some people wouldn't. We're almost fully caught up with all the different fucking visuals and everything. Oh my god. So I need to get closer with... Catherine, Flane, Geralt. So here, what we'll do is I'm gonna go find um, Captain Geralt. I was just near him. We're gonna have tea time with him, or go on an expedition with him. You busy? I am busy. Busy taking you on a date. No, they violently hate him. It makes me feel like a different species. Right. Let's get going. Why would people violently hate him, though? I can't Works think of a... Me. I don't know. Your question was, what's better, uh, hopes or houses? I can answer it. Hopes, for now, uh, probably because I played it the most, and Shez and are a better protagonist than Sothis and Violets. Uh, oh, my question, what was the, uh, what was the house you picked for both? That was my question. But that's also an interesting question as well, which one you prefer more? I think I still prefer houses, but that's just because I love the gameplay of houses. Like Scrappy Doo type thing, huh? Oh, there are some big fish in there. <laughs> I can't wait to cast a line. I mean, that's fair though, I guess, because I didn't really mind Jar Jar Binks, but a lot of people hated Jar Jar Binks, so maybe it's like that. Because I, I feel like I don't know. I don't get annoyed by characters that easily. Erdiad underwent massive changes during the reign of the late king. Now, few traces of the past remain. All right, so. How is that not engaging? Is it not engaging to ask him how he knows I something? Tell you what to feel, but we're allies now, so let's at least try to get along. Kind of what I plan on doing. Thanks. That's how it is with mercenaries. That was awesome. That's literally what we just said earlier. Bro, I can't talk to you. Oh my god. The longer you live, the more past there is to haunt you. That got heavy as fuck at the end. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is that the only correct answer? <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks for the invite. Felt good to blow off some steam. Some steam? How did you blow off steam? Would you punch me in the face over tea? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, whatever. Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Whatever. Is that the one? Is that the one? I have no idea. Come what do you think, Balthus? Got a minute? The previous leader of the Alliance looked gentle as a kitten. He was a tough-as-nails old man who kept his cards close to his chest. What do you think of the new guy, Claude? I've been doing some digging into him. 
Let's see. Not sure. I've only talked to him a little, but he seemed like a real charmer. I get you. Oh, uh, yeah. He probably gets that from his mom. I guess that's be better than having some jerk for a leader. I carry a little. Hope to see you again. Yeah, soon. we don't want some random asshole as a leader. Come on now. Um, oh my god, there's still so many people to talk to. I've been talking to people for an hour, and we're an hour and ten minutes, and we're still not done. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. Let's say. So tell me, are you one of the people worried about Lady Ray's ability to command on the front lines? Nuh-uh. Nah, not really. She used to deploy the knights to settle conflicts, didn't she? And a good effect, from what I've heard. It's not hard to imagine she would make a great commander. That's right, she's got more experience leading armies than most of our generals combined. Mm. I wanted to fight by her side, but Lady Ray insisted I aided the Kingdom Army. Damn. I hate to see it. Oh! Well, speaking of Rhea. So it is. I've heard tell of your exploits. You have been working rather hard, it seems. Though it may not have been for the Church, you saved our lives nonetheless. As the Archbishop of the Church of Saros, allow me to express my sincere gratitude. Are you sure? Oh, it was nothing. No need to thank me personally or anything. <laughs> you have earned the, earned the Goddess's favor regardless of your beliefs. The Empire, on the other hand, must face severe punishment for, for inciting such a foolish conflict. I ask that you continue to wield your magnificent power with righteousness. I entrust this to you. For Fodlin and all who reside here, I'm counting on you. Okay, Rhea. Let's go, team! <laughs> it's quite fortunate we were able to convince Jout's mercenaries to join our Indeed. cause. Indeed, I have no doubt they will play a key role in, in recapturing Garrick Mach. Rapturing Garrick Mach. Though it pains me to send them into a battle where they wish to avoid the church. Bolin's fate hangs in the balance. We have no choice but to rely on their strength. Mm. Yes, we must join forces now and end this conflict as swiftly as possible. That is true. What was this? Old letter? Constance, you're inside, so you should be fun to talk to. Oh, I already expected the fucking... Ah! <laughs> as soon as I walk up to you. <laughs> I have finally returned to my old self! Now my name shall be known throughout all of Fargus as well. Good luck with that. How are you going to make a name for yourself? Indeed. Through magic, of course. My aim is to master the magical arts. I swear one day I shall restore House Nouvelle its former, to its former glory. You know what? I take it back, chat. I think the crazy is winning me over. I take it back. I would love to be around Constance. It would be the most entertaining thing ever. I would both be extremely upset and annoyed and also having the best time of my life. But since I'm awake, pretty much... Chill out. That was crazy. Since I'm awake pretty much only at nighttime... It would be fine. It would be fine. Hey. A lot of the people at church are um church are wound wound up about the power the, that power of yours. Some of them even suspect you're in league with Tomas. I don't think that's true. We can trust you, right? Right on. Of course, I'm not good at putting uh put putting one over on people anyway. Gotcha, you know? I was told to keep you away from Lady Rhea. Uh -huh. But she seems to trust you, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Aw, thank you, Cereal. You know what? Lo um, Honey Nut Cheerios, I appreciate that. Well, I'll see you later, Coco Puffs. I will, I will come back at a different time. I can't. Um. Well, any anyway, Scrappy Doo is redeemed for vanishing the demon whose shall not be named. What? It's just silly talking cat. It's not that deep. It's kind of disgusting. It's kind of disgusting, actually. I kind of wish I would get a Warriors game. I haven't played, uh, played, Ike would get a Warriors game, I haven't played his games, but they interest me, and you like Ike a lot? If you've not played, if you've not played Ike's games, how do you like him so much? He wasn't in the first Warriors game either. Um, Ike was only your favorite since your first Fire Emblem game was Path of Radiance. I sleep until the day we get Mario Warriors. I'm all for Mario Warriors, I can't wait to see Luigi on the battlefield. Please listen. While you were fighting in the west, we had been sh shuttling between the eastern and western fronts providing support. The eastern front had their share of struggles as well. The Alliance's meager forces were up against the Minister of Military Affairs army, after all. Though the enemy was superior in number and more experienced, the Alliance was able to stave off the onslaught through a deft deployment of strategies. Yeah, that kind of seemed like the main way they were going uh, going about it. My god, there is still so much. Oh my god. Hmm. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay.
Oh my god, Ingrid needs to get closer with people. Welcome in, Warrior Cats fangirl. I don't think I've seen you in a while. How are you doing? Yeah, the flavor's not really there. Might want to um, try something different next time. Though other streamers, uh... Through other streamers, playthroughs, etc. Luigi would be cool since he would have the poltergeist. I think the closest we're getting to Mario Warriors is Smash Bros. Super Smash Warriors. <laughs> Hello. Super Smash Warriors Ultimate would be a god-tier game. Oh my god, Fire Emblem! Yes, Warrior Cats fangirl, we're... You love the series? Well, I hope this Vivian would be added to Mario Warriors. You can really never get enough of your oh, well, how games. much of a Fire Emblem have you played, Warrior Cats fangirl? I will say I've only played Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Just uh, just to let you know my experience with it. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? I didn't, but the game sure told me about it. Come back whenever you're hungry. Oh my god, there's still so many people to talk to. I'm not mad about it, but I'm just shocked. Well, that was a really heavy sigh. What's wrong, beautiful? That's not good. There haven't been any sightings of Ferdy or Hubie in months. I hope they're, they've been merely stripped of their station and not something worse. I know there are enemies, but I wonder if we'll see them at Garrick Mock. Aw. I'm sorry, Dorothea. I've hoped for a swift return to my unit, but now that we've come so far together, I must admit I've grown very fond of the people in this army. I used to feel such animosity towards Fargus, but now I actually want them to win. I can't believe it. Hmm, well, what Mercedes hmm. said about the Death Knight has been bothering me. I also talked with some people in the Alliance army, and they haven't seen him either. A monster like him can't live without fighting, so it's hard to believe he's just gone. What do you think? Maybe he left the military. Life pulls you in all sorts of directions, you know? You really think he'd do that? Doesn't sound likely to hmm. me. Still, it's all fine with me if it means we don't have to face him again. I feel like he's going to appear in the next battle. There's no way he's just dipping. Petra! We must speak. I returned to Alo. I returned to Alo. Last time I was defeated and surrendered. At that time I was chasing the archbishop. She is here now also. And this is what is called fate. Does that reminds me. Yeah, it definitely seems like a twist of fate. This time you're fighting on the same uh. side. Yes, we were enemies then. Now we are allies. We will not be losing. It feels like a bad omen for battle. Perhaps that is why my heart is racing. Aw. Well, Petra, you got this. Petra just realized that you're being sent out to help us and not Time being sent out on a fucking death mission. So just be, be happy knowing that. Um, you only played Fates and Warriors, not this one yet. Oh, I highly recommend Fire Emblem Three Houses. And once you're done playing Three Houses, play Fire Emblem Three uh, Hopes. They are both fantastic. And if you play Houses, it'll make Hopes even better. Got to the end of Fates, but never finished it? Damn. Only one route, though. It's cold. Wait, Pizza Man is missing? Yes, Birch's Pizza Man is not on this, uh, so he's not in this playthrough. At least not on our team. So the, the Death Knight is not part of our, uh, roster in this playthrough. He was part of our roster in the last playthrough, but he's not in this one. He's at, He's been on the enemy side, actually. Why is August cold? I feel like that's a sign that there's going to be a cold wave in winter. Uh, you must you must live somewhere that's uh, really, really cold then, Warriors Cat Fangirl. I won't, I'm not going to lie, I wish August was cold. That'd be nice. But I did start awakening like a week ago. Started waking on Chapter 3 or 4. Canada. Oh, then yeah, I'm certain it is probably cold. <laughs> only did the first chapter, got caught up with other things. Yeah, we are sad not to have pizza, man. Oh. We're going to take back the monastery next, aren't we? It's been it's been ages I missed the Officer's Academy. I was never good at book learning, but it was fun hanging out with everyone from our classes. What do you remember most? Yeah, Probably the I mock battle, know. though I wouldn't say I was exactly a good memory. Mm. Oh, yeah, you got yourself into a real mess back there. We have a great party afterwards, though. Oh, man. I wonder what's going on at the monastery right now. Is anyone from the old days still there? Probably not. I'm pretty sure it's being held by the Empire, so I doubt that there's anybody from the old days there. Never in a million years did I think Gerald's mercenaries become our allies. When you said you wanted them on our side, I thought you might have taken a hard hit on the head or something. Uh -huh. But you actually pulled it off. You really can't do anything. Aw, oh, thank you. These make me feel like a real anime pro tag. Hmm. Since joining the Kingdom Army, I've been uh, been to a myriad of places to see all variety of landscapes. I'm looking for loot, by the way, if you're curious why I'm spinning the camera. But ALL is truly extraordinary. I don't think there's anywhere else in all of Foden like it. Have you heard the story of how it came to be? It is all the work of the goddess? It's just a folktale, but think how terrifying it would be if it were true. 
the god of our current state of affairs and got angry again, then we'd all be in the gra in grave danger. I mean, I'm sure the goddess is probably pissed, but you know, she's also inside of Byleth, so I'm sure it shouldn't be that prob that big of a problem. Marianne, my favorite sad girl. Did you know? I was recently reunited with Hilda after a terribly long time apart. She had been very worried about me. She's always spoken so kindly to me, even at the officers' academy. I thought it was best to keep others at arm's length and never even so much as said thank you, thank you to them. When we were separated, I found myself missing Hilda dearly. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is it's nice to have a friend. She makes me feel stronger, more courageous. Aww. That's adorable, Marianne. I'm extremely happy for you. <gasps> Yeti! It only, it's, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before the enemy gets wind of what's, what we're after. In fact, they might have already. Well, what do you think? It would be wise to consider the possibility of a massive battle in the Valley of Torment. Hmm. You're right, we should be catching the enemy off guard, but they might have enough time to deploy a small elite force. That probably depends on Count Hevering, since he's defending the West, and how quickly the Emperor will react. The sooner she does, the more likely they'll send a larger right. army. That being said, we're also deploying a small raiding party of our most elite in anticipation of that. Not to mention we'll be doing battle on Ayla, where larger numbers aren't particularly at an advantage. I don't think it'll be an impos impossibility to win. Well, I appreciate the confidence. I'm literally losing my voice reading all this. Oh my god. I really did just read that and not say it. Damn. Oh my, we may finally have been able to return to uh, Garrick Mach. The monastery serves as a symbol of the Holy Church of Saros. In the name of the goddess, we must stop at nothing to reclaim wow. it. Furthermore, if we do return, we shall no longer have to burn the kingdom so. Here we go. I'll show you Marianne. Would you like to talk? I forgot her name. Here's Marianne. Does she looks really pretty in this game? I mean, she's pretty in the other game too, but I really love how did she did her know? hair in this game. It's not too it's not too over complex. It's nice and simple, and the nice little oh, I don't know what it's called, the thing she's got in her hair. It just adds to it. Ontario, Canada is cold. I love Crom though; he's beautiful. But I have been watching a show about a plane crash set in, Can set in Canada. There's so much I want to draw, but I'm so distracted by everything going on. It's called Yellow Jackets, about a New Jersey girl soccer team who gets in a plane on the way to Seattle, Washington, where their plane crashed in Ontario, Canada. Damn. Hiding somewhere. Oh, I thought you meant Bernadetta. Not not Marianne, the other one. Oh, Bernadetta? Oh, well, I'll have to go find Bernadetta. Well, she's on the other side of the area, I believe. Here she is. You probably won't be able to see her. Nope. <laughs> you can't. She's hiding. She's inside this shed. <laughs> the Valley of Torment. The name alone sends chills down my spine. And even if I survive, my father's going to be waiting at Garamok on the other side. I'm totally terrified. You all go on ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just burrow under a blanket forever. Come on. Hang in there, Bernadette. You can do this. We're going to need all our best fighters to win this thing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe I can do this. I knew it. Yeah, she's literally hiding in the fucking shed. It, it, hey, it's up to her. She she found the shed and just has not left it <laughs> at all. Oh, boy. More supports. Oh, my God. <sighs> wow. The Spring Army would have invaded by now if we didn't have the Mar Margrave keeping watch. After one particularly fierce conflict long ago, it was agreed that Spring and its people would be subject to Fargus's will. However, they still attack in hopes of claiming our fertile lands. On the other hand, Dusker and Fargus had a tumultuous, uh... Wow! Guess what time it is, chat! It's time for what the fuck is that word on my screen? The word of the day, the word of the hour, is tumultuous. I have never in my life seen this goddamn word. What the fuck? Tumultuous. However I say that. Does it does it give me the how to say? Or no? No, it's not gonna give me the how to say. Alright. Tumultuous. Making a loud, confused noise. Uproarious. Excited, confused, or disorderly. Okay, okay. We're going to write that one down in the list of words that I've never fucking heard of in my life. So, give me a second. So, we've got aplomb, 
feckless, acquiesce, dissertation, and now tumultuous. Jesus. Okay. And yet you can count on count the number of conflicts between them on one hand. That could be due to Duskar's lands being more fertile than the others, the ones in Fargus. Oh, goodness. She lives in there now. Tumultuous, very messed up, rocky, unstable. Yep, you pronounce it properly. Yes. I am pretty decent at reading. It's just most of my reading comes from video games. So if I'm never told how to pronounce something... My blood's boiling! Oh, Alright, this is it. We're finally storming Garagbach. My blood's boiling! But I gotta say, if we're gonna attack him anyway, there's no need to sweat our backsides off sneaking through Alel. We should just kick down the doors and start knocking Imperial Skulls. Bro's living for the fights right now. We're almost done talking, chat. Then we'll have the training. Then we'll have the battle. Hmm. It's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> if this plan works and we retake Garrick Mach, then the war will be over as long as the Empire isn't run by fools, that is. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be nearly impossible for the Empire to make a comeback after losing Garrick Mach. All that's left is to see they're capable of admitting defeat, right? right? Pretty much, and if, and if they don't, then we'll have to keep taking them out till there's no one left. God, Shamir, you're so fucking hot. Why? Why are you so damn attractive from your personality to your outfit to your hair to your face to the words you use in your sentences? My God, why don't you just shoot me with your bow, please? Because you are because I was already shot with Cupid's bow. Oh, my God. Well, we stayed a good while, but it's finally time to say goodbye to the Kingdom Army base camp. Once the battle at Garrick Mach is over, we'll be joining up with the Alliance. I promise the gang here that we'd throw back a few drinks to celebrate our once Garrick Mock is reclaimed. Actually, I can't remember. She's absolutely within my, like, IRL age range, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Watch her be actually way older. 27. That's in range. <laughs> Mommy? Hello? <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm on, I'm on stream. I need to chill. I need to chill. You know what? Here, I'll prove it, because I'm sure chat's, chat's scared of the reality now. I promise you. I promise you. Hold up. I'm, I gotta prove it. I have to prove it. If I don't prove it, no one's gonna believe me. Both this one and this one. Neither body pillows have a Shamir cover, I promise. And I totally didn't take it off because I had to wash it or anything. No, they both do not have a cover, okay? Just... Just so no one's worrying in the background. Like, oh my god, bro's got a Shamir body pillow cover. No, no. I don't have a lightning body pillow cover either. I have taste. I have class. All right. <laughs> now I am, hold up. Now I am classy enough. To have a uh, Rim and Rom frilly bikini pudding statue, though. I am classy enough for that, so don't worry. <laughs> and if anyone's curious, that's my only risk, uh, risque figurine. All my other figurines are like Dark Souls, Black Knight, Borderlands, and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. And if anyone's curious, Amelia's my favorite. That's the funny part. It's, it's not even Rim or Rom. It's Amelia. You hate it. You hate to see it. Anyways. Um... I got into the series through Radiant Dawn when I saw gameplay in December 2018. Oh, and I finished Tears of the Kingdom like three weeks ago. Ha Fuck yeah, Warrior Cats fangirl. It was harder than Breath of the Wild. It definitely was, but I loved Tears of the Kingdom. A lot of people actually have disliked Tears of the Kingdom, surprisingly. I think a lot of people have said the story, but like, honestly, I didn't care for the story of Breath of the Wild either. To be fair, if you're going to compare Breath of the Wild to most other Zelda games, like, at that point, it is pretty shit, but like, it's good enough. I don't know. I didn't really care for the story of Tears or Breath of the Wild, but that's so I was more focused on the gameplay and overall experience. Nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Now that we've got the Alliance and Church on our side, I'm starting to think we can win this thing. You have a real humdinger of a battle coming. 
So I'll be cheering you on from here. I might have to look up that word too, but I'm just gonna let it ride. Um, because Tomboy. I just need to see Demetri because isn't he also Roru in Tears of the Kingdom? Oh, he is. He's also got luxurious hair inside of three houses. In this game, his hair is not luxurious, but oh my god. That bro has the perfect hair. In fact, in our post time skip, he's an S rank in the hair tier list. And yes, there is a three houses post and pre time skip hair tier list. If anyone's curious. Older women, question mark? Yeah, they had Gladiolus and Snow on it instead. You bet they did. Both of them shirtless. Oh my god. Ugh. Hey, uh, I'm Jets, the number of the... Br the number one breadwinner in Geralt's Mercenaries. Nice to meet you. Do I have a brother? I don't know. I've been alone my whole life. <laughs> why are you looking... <laughs> why are you looking like you're you've seen a ghost? Was it something I said? I don't... What the fuck was that conversation? Where... W where we are now isn't unbearable, but I'm sure it'll get hotter once we get to enter the valley. Many people from Fargus don't do well in the heat, so I, I can't help but be concerned for them. Hmm. There's got to be a way to stay cool, even in, the, even in the valley. Maybe we can ask someone who knows ice magic. <laughs> oh, yes, that might work. We can consult with the ice scholars. We won't be in any condition to fight if we're all exhausted when we reach the monastery. Monastery? Goodness, I've got mad hiccups right now. Yeah, dot, 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 dot. Breath of the Wild's story was meh, but Tears of the Kingdom was peak. Humdinger, many, uh, many, man, only people born before 1960 use that word. Tears of the Kingdom seems leagues better story-wise than Breath of the Wild. What? No way. See, I don't know. Here's my thing. I think Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild have such disjointed stories that, like, they can't even be compared in the same room as a good story, right? Like, if some, if I ever, like, I'm all for people having opinions, and if you do have the opinion that you like the story of Tear, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild is even remotely as good as Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, I'm just, I mean, yes, I'll respect your opinion, but I also will not be listening to your opinion on stories, <laughs> or, or <laughs> trusting, trusting your opinion. I'll respect it, but I will certainly not ever expect you to give a good answer on story-based games at all because like it's like it's just not really there it's an open-ended exploration game where the story is fragmented unnecessary and all out of order flashbacks so it's like yeah it, it, they're the good cutscenes and the voice acting is nice but, like, when you see them either all at once, because you ran straight to them, all tons of hours apart where you fucking forgot some of the other ones. So it's just, like, it's just kind of pointless, you know? <laughs> it's been so long, Father. How have you been faring in the Alliance? Mm, just fine, Annette. I'm rel relieved to see no harm has come to you. Yeah, the others do a good job looking out for me. Are you going to be joining us in the fight for Garrick Mach? I would like to, but I've been charged with managing our reserve troops. Once I've finished here, I'm returning to the capital to gather Duke Ifon and Margrave Gautier. No way. Working yourself to the bone as usual. Not that I want you fighting on the front lines, but isn't running around doing all those errands exhausting? Mm. Indeed it is. But you must forgive me. These duties bear great importance as well. Okay, but you said you want to see Dimitri. Where's my zaddy at? Here he is. <laughs> there he is. Ooh. But yeah, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up, yeah, this is, this is, uh, Dimitri inside of Three Hopes, anyways. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom actually made me cry because of, uh, Minoru's story. I was tempted to get Minoru before finishing the four main dungeons. Yeah, that's true, but Tears of the Kingdom's story seemed interesting with Ganon getting more and more powerful and everything. No, I agree. They both are interesting, but I can't call either of them good. Like, I can be intrigued even if the story is bad, you know? It can have good... You can have a bad overall story with really good bits. Like, the pro the main issue that makes a story bad is how it's presented. The fact that it's all fragmented makes it bad. Like, even if they're the best cutscenes ever, if you see them out of order and, like, 30 hours away from each other, then it, it's just bad automatically, you know? You have, to see you have to see it in a way that makes sense and makes them enjoyable.
I tried a green time once, and not gonna lie, I hated it and couldn't play more than two hours of it before quitting. And seeing that's perfectly fine, Senpai, to be honest with you, Indeed. I don't expect, I will never tell mm. people that Ocarina of Time is like objectively the best game or anything like that. I think that a lot of people tend to um, hype uh, Ocarina of Time up a little bit too much, because it's a great game, but it's not perfect by any means. Um, I personally Training have way more fun with uh, uh, with other games in comparison, so. Okay, I don't think Yidi or Sedith actually train with anybody, so. Shaz and Flane have a little bit, so I'll do Lilith here. Net and Ash, Dudu and Catherine, Ignatz and Sylvain, Dimitri and Hoppy. So Dimitri does not have anybody he needs to talk to. Hoppy does not have anybody. Oh, nope, they need to talk to Shamir, apparently. And no Constance, I knew that. Actually, you know what? I'll do Felix. Um. Rodrig and Seth. Think of everybody learning what I want them to learn. Minus Sylvain. Sylvain's not learning what I want him to learn. You hate to see it. Um. Thanks to you, that went really well. I mean, why would anyone get all thousand Koroks? Um, because people think every game should be open world, when most of the time they're better off not being. Ocarina of Time's a good game. No, it is definitely a good game, but I can definitely understand people not liking it. I can't. About to give this. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Ah, uh, Dimitri. I wonder if. Who else needs to get a new class to level up? Ah, Felix does. All right. So now he has to learn Spear. So I'll have him with Yudi. Spear and swords, so that's not really helping anybody. Who's learning spear usage? Ah, uh, the people that need to be paired up with specific people? Okay, whatever. Fine. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Is Flame maxed out with Proper my character training, yet? You'll be unstoppable. Nope. Time to work you into shape. Um <laughs> Like, Legend of Arceus is functionally a better game pacing-wise than Scarlet and Violet for that reason. Uh, it probably is, just ain't, ain't my type of game. See, and that's totally fair, Senpai. They're great games. Um, or Scoured Sword, not the Wii version. The Wii version of Scour uh, Scoured Sword sucks. Does it? I don't know. I love the... I actually own the Wii version, and that's the only one I've played. Have a wonderful night, Warriors Cats fangirl. I was happy the to have you in here while we did. The... Enjoy your night. Hopefully it warms up a little bit for you in Canada. I'm... I'm certain dealing with frigid cold really early in the year is probably very frustrating. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Um, I've been Breath of the Wild and bought the DLC because I loved it so much. I haven't, haven't played Tears of the Kingdom. Can work with Edge, this. do you use Excel or OpenOffice or Google Docs? Uh, for what specifically do you mean? 
It's like, what are you asking me I use it for? Because I do use Google Docs. But, like, are you asking, like, do I use it for, like, anything specific? Okay, so he mastered that. Aggression. That's so unimportant, though. Go ahead and see Can't we got close enough yet. Support info. With Flane. Perfect. Now I can train with someone else. I'll probably ch train with uh, Lilith, to be honest with you. That's the most important one I would like to see. Time to work you into shape. Indeed, indeed, indeed. A lot of games work better being open world, but with certain places opening up at some times not fully open. That's that's partly Legends RCS feels more satisfying to progress. To progress. For spreadsheets. Oh, like for stats and like things like that? Oh no, I don't use I don't use those at all. Here, I'll actually show you. I use uh, I use any notes I take. I either use uh, the notes app on my phone. Um, let's see here. Yeah, like, I've got a lot of notes. So, yeah. And this is one, this is just one section. You know. Oh, wait, no, here, let me go to all of them. There you go, yeah. This is all my notes. Right here, like. And, of course, that's, that's all the subject of notes. Those are all different subjects of notes. Obviously, within each one is actually, you know, pages of notes. And then other things I write down are on note cards, you know. Like, these are, like, this one here is lore for my Hero Warriors uh, fairies that chat wanted me to make. This one is for games I'd like to play soon, plus challenge runs for Dark Souls-esque games. Then this one is... What is... Oh, it's the type of build I'm going to do for the uh, endings. Okay. Goodness, excuse me. Uh, this is a stat... Uh, what characters I need to recruit for my Blue Lions playthrough that I'm doing off uh, off of stream. This one is all the playthroughs I need to do on the uh, digital cons uh, emulators for Switch. This one is all the names for my... Uh, what is it? My Elden Ring summons alongside a bunch of different notes, some of them being important notes and other ones being random notes. This one's a hair tier list for Fire Emblem Three Houses, followed by a bunch of other random notes. And that's just the stuff I have on top. To be honest, most of my notes are over here, which are pages and pages and pages and pages of individual notes on different note cards. You guys are seeing the chiller side. Most of them look like these, where they're, it's covered in a bunch of tiny writing. And what this is primarily is basically all the different uh, clips I make. So when I listen to my own streams, I write them down for the timestamp. Um, and then I go back, I download the video, and I cut that out of the video and make that into a clip. And that's what you guys see get posted to YouTube, Twitch, uh, or sorry, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram every day. And then I also have a couple sheets of paper like this one. This one is the paper to denote any and all playthroughs I have fully listened to and or mostly listened to, um, uh, plus every single playthrough I've ever done or started. Every single thing I have saved and put on YouTube is on here, um, just so I can keep track of that. And then I have other notes on here that, you know, I think, like this one is all the money that I've ever made on Twitch written down and w when I when it was deposited into my stuff and things like that, you know. I, I write I write down a lot, lot of stuff. I like to have it all physical. I'm an old man when it comes to that type of thing. Um, 
It just shows a bigger problem in a hole with sandbox games. Yeah, for sure. People were disappointed with Forgotten Land not being open world, and I was like, bro, it's a Kirby game. It doesn't work open world. That would basically change the unique gameplay and feeling of the series and make it generic. Forgotten Land is literally perfect the way it is. They really innovated the best way they could for Kirby. Yeah, I forgot they'd like brought out a new Kirby game and everything. I think that's, that's awesome. A good... a new power. Kirby Diem. I think I'm renewal. Training can be the difference between Fire class. And okay, who mastered their class? We need to get Felix and Sylvain. I need to replay it. It is legit so good. I've still never really played. I've never played through any Kirby games at all. Not that I think they're bad by any means. I just never have played through them. I want any of these driven spirit. Mm. Ooh, Pavis. That'd be really good. That'd be pretty nice to have. Anything in here I want to get? How's his dexterity look? His dexterity is pretty good, it looks. Yeah, he's at 40 dexterity. That's honestly not bad. Yeah, I might do lethality then. That might be pretty good. Oh no, he's a healer, so I'll probably give him the uh, these. So I'll, I'll have him do a uh, fighter and then go down that way. I don't think he really gains anything from this, does he? Yeah, that's just absorb speed. That's not really worthy, to be honest. That's not really worth my time. Ooh, I feel like uh, rejuvenation could be good. Because he's usually trying to build up a huge hit count, so that might be worthwhile as well. But he's got renewal, so I don't really think it matters in that regard. Unless I want to make him super hard to kill. Either way, I'd have to have him do this, so. Anybody master their things yet? Mercedes Ingrid. Shez, Ly Shez Lilith, Annette Ash. Do and Catherine. They might actually max out. Let's see. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Good, they're maxed out. Nice, nice. Do, I don't think, has to train with anybody else other than Ingrid now. Yep, just Ingrid. I think Catherine doesn't have anybody else to train with, outside of me. Yeah. No, Shamir, my bad. Time to work you into shape. So what I'll do is I'll change this to Catherine and Shamir. And then from there, who was uh, this one? So Dudu needs to get Ingrid, it looks like. Only problem is Ingrid's getting closer with Mercedes. Does Mercedes need to get closer with anybody else, it looks? I'm not sure. Nope. See, so yeah, I'll probably finish this up with Mercedes. Ingrid needs to get close with a lot of people anyways, to be honest with you. Like, she, a they actively need to get closer with a lot of people, so. It's whatevs. Question, Edge, what's your top five games? Mine, in order from least to most. Titanfall 2, COD Ghosts, Trapang 2, The Last of Us, and Far Cry 3. That is a all over the place top tier list. I love that. I honestly don't know. Um, I will go ahead and say, let me think here. I, I won't be able to give them probably in order, particularly, but I could probably give you Training a decent, like, top five. Victory and defeat. Um, I'll probably have to write them down, though, so I don't forget them. Um, actually, no, I think it'd be better if I said them, like, without thinking about it, because I'd make it more from the heart. So... I never turned down. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Dark Souls 2, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess... The last two are really where I'm going to be stumped for a long time. 
Final Fantasy 13. I don't know why that took me that long. Oh my god, do I dare say Final Fantasy 16? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Favorite game of all time. Ah, oh, but 16 might be better than 13, but I like 13's gameplay more. Ooh, I'll have to go with 13, just because 13 was more impactful on me as a person. Yeah, 13. So we got Dark Souls 2, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Fire, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I just said Final Fantasy 13. And what that leaves is one last game, and I just don't know what that should be. Because there's a lot of games it could be. I don't know. I think the last one is where I'm stumped. I don't know. I wish I could give you a definitive answer, but I honestly do not know. Forgotten Land, Return to Dreamland, or Peak on the Switch. I'd love, I love how next year we would get another one too. All thanks to you. Made special weapons list. I'll send you on Discord. Okay, I don't know he's gaming. Yeah, I'd love that. I would no. appreciate that. <laughs> I did not mean to. Oh well. All well, I wasted a training for Sylvain. A new training can be the difference between victory and defeat. So, do Fortress Knight so we can get Pavis. Well. Okay, well, let's see. That brought some people closer together. Mercedes and Ingrid, let's see. Can't wait to see how you do. Two hours in, we've still not started. So, Mercedes and Ingrid are now. No, they're still not. Damn. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. How about Ingrid and Sylvain? Uh, sorry, Ignatz and Sylvain. No, still not. Okay, so we got Mercedes, Ingrid. This one's nowhere near. This one's pretty close. It's actually really close. Damn. Really? Matt and Ash are pretty close as well. I think for now, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Fractured fractured Butthole, Kirby Triple Deluxe, Pikmin 3, and Wind Waker. I know a lot of you are probably going to think I was going to say Wind Waker for my Zelda game, because Wind Waker was the first game I ever played. Wind Waker was the first video game I ever played in my life, but Twilight Princess really captured me as a person, I think. Twilight Princess, to this day, I listen to its soundtrack often. Like, Wind Waker sparks, like, happiness in my soul. But Twilight Princess training, with proper just training, you'll be holds me captive, man. Like, it is... It is something. Sure. There we go. Mercedes and Ingrid are now maxed. So now we have to do Mercedes and, I think, me. Yes. No, no, Mercedes is done maxed. Not with everybody. So Mercedes is now free to go with anybody. Good. Training can be the difference so now, between victory and defeat. We're gonna have to do Mercedes and literally oh to do. Easy. Because Dadu's not training with anybody specific right now. Perfect. Alright then. Oh, but yeah, I feel like a lot of these games are fantastic. No. I feel Time to work you into shape. Lilith, Swordmaster. Train resistance, nice. And grants one tier greater advantage against enemies equipped with access to increased damage. Nice. I hope to master. Okay, now he also needs to get to Bishop. If anyone's wondering my, why COD Ghost is in my top five, it's because it's the first game to really get me into video games. Plus, it's the game I would always play with your grandfather when you were younger, when we could never leave. Oh, uh, which can never leave my top five because the, uh... Oh, it moved. It moved. Hold up. 
because of that reason alone. For that reason, me and my grandfather playing that game are worth more than the money ever could buy. And you know what? I think, that, Jesus Christ, him in the bishop outfit is ridiculous. But no, I think that is entirely fair, Senpai. Because, like, oh, and you know what? I'm kind of curious. What parts of uh, Call of Duty Ghosts did you play? Did you ever, did you play a lot of Extinction, or did you do mostly, like, the story and multiplayer? Because I actually love, love Can't wait to see how you that do. game's uh, Extinction mode. Wow, I maxed out with Lilith. Damn, okay. I'll have to train with, uh... Catherine, then, I think. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. No, Catherine's training with someone else. Um... Lane's maxed out. I guess Geralt, then. Yeah, we'll get Seth out, and we'll get Lila, then. There we go. I need to train. I need to close with a couple people from my house, but not that many. Ingrid's maxed out. Yeah, Rodrigue. No, actually, I think I got everybody I wanted. Yeah, Ka Catherine would have been the last. Catherine and Gerald will be the last ones. Okay. We're almost to the battle chat. Do not worry. We will get there. I promise. That should come in. And I'll just do one last one. Call it good. I actually mastered Falcon Knight. Damn. What do you know? Or I didn't. Uh, Ingrid did. Got to give. I've grasped. I'll be able. Oh boy. Time to work. Okay. You'll be unstoppable. Now. Now. Let's play the fucking game. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Which battlefield are you headed to? Fuck. Oh my god, and there's a paralogue. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Members of the Knights of Saros, past and present, form a hastily assembled squadron to strike a blow against the evil plaguing Fodlin. You know what? Let's fucking go for it, bro. Nice of you to finally join us. Nice of you to finally start a fucking mission. Um, JW2 is just sort of a comfort game for me. I think it was the most beautiful DLC dinosaur designs, and the fact that it was the first game that got me the courage to stream. For that, I have respect for it. Absolutely. And everyone usually has their own, you know, special reason for, like, loving a different game. Absolutely. Sent and tagged you in Discord. Yep, I believe it just popped up. Um, well, I mean, yeah. And you know what, guys? For me, uh, for my games, I'll, I'll give you the, the that stuff I probably am, once we're out of the yeah. battle. Sorry or in battle. That. This is quite the lineup you've got here, though. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. I appreciate your eye for quality. But yes, we have Shamir, Catherine, and Gil... I mean, Gustav. And, of course, myself and Captain Geralt. The Knights of Seros are reunited at last. Wait, Geralt was in the Knights of Seros? Aloise... <laughs> Oh, you and your big mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to work with them in the past. It's not a big deal. He's like, can we, can we not? But back to the matter at hand. There's clearly something big cooking to gather a crew like this. Something really big. I can smell it. Damn. I mean, that's a pretty angular nose you got. Also, you have a gravity-defying ponytail. Hello? Girl, how much hairspray you got on? That can't be good. That's not even hairspray. That's... Chick's got so fucking on, glue in her hair. Dimitri must have told you what's going on. Did you guys see that from where you were at? Oh my god. Old man. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh. Hey, when you've known him as long as I have, you can call him whatever you want. Go on, Gustav. I mean, Gustav We've is been pretty old. Look at him. What remains of the dark mages commanded by Cornelius. Oh, I see. You do have quite the list of weapons in here. What about Cornelia? Nod like you know what's going on. Does this mean we know where they're hiding? Oh, I see you have it for this game and everything. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I got you, I got you. Is this for three hopes or three houses? I assume it's for three hopes. Going off of what I'm seeing, so. 
Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go with this three hopes because that would just make this. Yeah, this wouldn't make sense if it wasn't three hopes. We're really well organized. In cave in kingdom territory, they appear to be using as a hideout. However, a report also indicates that the mages are preparing to abandon the cave imminently. I wonder what's the most populated crest. Um, uh, um. Saros is the most common one, it seems. This is our chance. When they begin to move, we will fall upon them and eliminate them all. So sure. cut down the mages before they can escape. Easy enough. Or maybe not so easy, considering who we're up against. We'd best stay on our toes. Yeah. Yet, I remain convinced our combined powers oh, are enough to prevail against even the stoutest foe. Bro, always with Just as we did back in our days with the knights. And our knights as well. <laughs> Refuse to participate is crazy. Nah, bro, play along with the joke. Let him dream. Let Alois make his jokes. What is chat's... Okay, chat... Does Alois have W jokes? I need to know. Because I personally love his jokes. Alois is honestly once... Just like Rodrigue. He's just wholesome. I love this man. Nights, huh? Good one. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Oh, very good. Very good. I'm glad someone here is sharp enough to appreciate my razor wit. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever stop messing around, Alois? You know you want to laugh. All of you fuckers want to laugh. Let's just get on with this. She's like, please leave me alone. So who's actually leading this little operation? I mean, everyone here is more than capable of handling themselves on a battlefield. My place is on the front line, swinging a sword. Leave the orders to somebody else. Yep, I'll follow whoever. You choose. I will respect the group's decision. In that case, I think there can only be one choice. Captain Gerald. Hell yeah. Me, huh? Mm, great. <laughs> Great. I think I've beaten the campaign three to four times and played mostly multiplayer. I really like Extinction, but it's really hard to play without a full squad, which is why I played only a couple of times. About two, three years ago, I bought the Gold Edition for 20 bucks, which came with all Extinction maps. If anyone is down to play, I would love to play it again. You're welcome to play with me too, Edge. But I'm pretty sure you have an Xbox, if I remember correctly. Yes, I have it on, I have it on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I technically have X, I have PS... 3, 4, 5, and Xbox 360, 1, and Series X. I'd have better luck hurting cats than getting this ragtag team to fall in line. You know, I think that'd be a fun thing to play at some point, but I do not believe I have a... Uh, I don't think I have it on any type of PlayStation. You say you're bad at English? Is English not your first language, senpai? I mean, I can't really tell you of bad English. It looks like you have perfectly good English to me. That I can tell. That, uh, that was just an ultimate thing to end such a great game onto. Massive, massive shark. Wait, what did I miss out? It's sad the game is over now, but they ended with a bang by adding Big Shark. Megodom was the only uh, Cenozoic creature in the game, and he's so cool. Okay, so that makes sense now. Yeah, ending the game with a massive shark. Wholesome but cringe, but the cringe will always be cancelled out by the wholesome. Exactly. I'm glad we understand. Gerald's mercenary is perfect. Well, he's using a uh, he's using a spear, so I'm gonna give him more spear stuff. Tempest Lance, Thunder Rush, huh? Thunder Rush is pretty nice. Um, well, he's known as the Sword Breaker, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give him all the stuff for breaking up swords. So that's what we'll do. All right, um, then there's me. I should be good. Yeah, I'll be good. Lance, jab, wheel sweep. We got Catherine. Catherine, her Thunderbrand is not... It's not up to its full snuff. 
which sucks. But I'll have her just run around with that then. As much as I'd love just to have her be busted as hell. That's okay. I'll give her Thunderbrand. And I'll give her the Critical Ring to hopefully help carry her. So. And Shamir, I think, is really low level. So it looks like me and Geralt will be carrying 44, 45, yeah. So. Steel Bow, Silver Bow for sure. Um... Monstrous Strength Ring, Battalion. Oh, yeah, she's only Sniper. She's not higher up. That sucks. Break Shot's always fantastic. I love Break Shot, personally. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we're just going to go into battle, then. Nothing really else I can do. Actually, wait, hold up my character. Actually, my character does not really have that crazy abilities, so... Yeah, to battle. Nice to the see the impact video games have on people. I still like to listen to Dire Dire Doc since it was mentioned here, so it's relaxing. Uh, no, English is my first, and not for long, only language. I'm bad at putting sentences together, which is why I said that. I'm perfect at speaking it, though, just not writing, articulating it. Uh, well, I will say, at least for me, reading, uh, reading what you write down... That seems this. to make sense. I'm on it. At least from what I can tell. So. Let's see how it goes. Time to go to work. Let me show you how it's done. I've got it. Let and we should do the same. Don't let them get away. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's happening? We got mysterious soldier. Okay, we got a lot of shit going down. We problem. got. I've got this. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Time to go to work. Left to our own devices already? Hmm. Not sure if this is trust or indifference. God damn it. Daring tactics such as this are all part of Captain Gerald's signature stuff. No! Daring wore off on you when you were his right hand man. Then perhaps it's right I be left behind. <laughs> Fuck! What is happening? Let's clear it out. We keep accidentally flying between each area. It's terrible. You think this rickety little stronghold can slow me down? Hey, why do you say stronghold like that? This little stronghold. I don't know if that's an accent or what that is. It's just it's. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. If it's an accent or just the way she's articulating it, I don't know. It's so confusing. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Not a problem. I think your rickety little stronghold's gonna stop me. I live for this. Oh, you live for this? You're about to die do for it as well. No. Um, I've got something better th uh, than Dire Dire Rocks for you. Um, what will that be? But yeah, as I was saying, um, what is it? The games that impact me? Uh, I would say Final Fantasy 13. It's very impactful because that's when I really started getting into games that actually had some like story and everything into it. Because before then, I'd, I'd say before Final Fantasy thir uh, 13, um, I really didn't pay attention to the story of a lot of video games. Um, it's not that I was playing games with bad stories, it's just with how young I was. I was just not paying any attention. So, yeah, I would just say Let's before Final shot. Fantasy 13, I wasn't really paying much attention to him. Take a breather. You got my back. Oh. Let's link up. Together, everyone. We'll do it together. And then, before I get off for the night, uh, do you have a public Discord for your channel? Yeah, I do. Um. Here, let me post it uh, in the chat right now. 
me just a second. I'll have to do it for my phone. Here, I'll be... R give me one moment. Yeah, of course, uh, let me... Invite. Copy link. Profile, my channel. Live. There we go. But yeah, no, uh, Final Fantasy XIII was like the first game to really ever get me caring uh, about stories for video games. Dark Souls 2 was the fir was uh, one of the first games to ever truly challenge me in a way that was like really, really effective. It really got me to, um, you know, be more interested about trying different things, both uh, IRL and for video games. Then I got to the, oh Jesus, this is gonna be terrible. Time to go to work. Let me show you how it's done. I've got it. We've got more over here. Not a problem. I'll take points. This stronghold will fall. I live for this. Oh God, you're one of them. Let's clear it out. I got him. Yes. I'll kill you all. I'll kill you all. That's such a friendly thing to say. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I feel like Fire Emblem Three Houses is the perfect combination of uh, story, gameplay, and characters. The, and then the music's also very good, and you know, all the stories feel satisfying. And the way the game treats the characters and is very, you know, respectful to absolutely everything, and has really good varying difficulties as well. I just think it's one of the best games I've ever played. Then, um, what is it? I said, yeah, Dark Souls 2 was one of the, is just my favorite Dark Souls game. I absolutely love Souls games, but Dark Souls 2 is the one that captured me by far the most. I love, I love the characters. I love the lore. I love the bosses. I love the way the magic works. I love the way the weapons work. I love the way the stats work. I love the, uh, I love pretty much almost every single area in Dark Souls 2 I love and or enjoy to some degree. It's just... Pretty much everything in Dark Souls 2 I, I enjoy. Um, I've done so many different builds in that game and played it so many different times. I've I played it so many times in so many different ways, so. God damn, this is difficult. This sure takes me back to when you were with the Knights, I mean. We were always pairing up like this. And striking down our enemies. But I always count on you to watch my back. Calling your partner again? Goddamn. Right then. I think we handled our business. But there are bound to be more lurking in the shadow joint. I've got it. Need some backup? Time to go to work. Time to go to work. Here, Shamir, go hide behind Catherine for a I've bit, please. You were low on health, girl. My turn. Oh god. Oh fuck this. You can't possibly expect this to work out. Let's give it a shot. Time to let me show you how it's done. Not a problem. And I have to stop this motherfucker too? Thanks. Hey, Blade Breaker, go break his blade. Everyone, join up and fight as one. Don't let them through. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Come here. Don't forget smiting foes. This is ridiculous. I'm so glad I have Dimitri's abilities because this would be fucking impossible without it. Are they catching them? Because I know. It's gonna be difficult to play a Shamir. She has no healing right now. You think this rickety little oh my god! Me down? Don't make me laugh. Oh, take the damage, please! Okay, we're still holding them. We're still holding the line. Nice. I know you can do better than that. Shamir's getting low. We're gonna have to switch to Shamir in a second. Oh my 
God. Okay, just use it, clear it, change it to Shamir, and save her life right now. Uh, yeah, this was fun. Thank you, uh, Edgy. Of course, uh, Vacated Crab. The hub world is just a little overwhelming. That's my only complaint with the game. Don't mind profile. I made it when I was a freshman. <laughs> You're fine, senpai. Yeah, this battle is one of the hardest battles in the game. You are not kidding with a lot of the characters I barely fucking used. Someone I'll take point. Nope, I'm gonna have to do this just so I don't take damage. I would have died. Okay, she got this. How's Catherine looking? She got any health items? She's got one. Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna run up, get this other one real quick. I'm gonna spam my abilities to take him out. And I have my ultimate. That's all I needed. Good. Nope, come on. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's game for him. Perfect. Go on defensive, please. Okay, Catherine. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay. This was mad clutch for... Not gonna lie. Oh, the perfect dodge. Love that. Oh, oh, right here. Wait, that didn't give me enough ultimate. Fuck. Is it? Is it first class? I mean, it was when I was playing as her, so. Wait, was she teasing? Teased by Shamir, hello? That's not even a tease. That's a fucking compliment. Come on, Catherine. Chill out. Catherine just doesn't know how to feel. She can't pick between, uh... <laughs> she can't pick between, um, what is it, Shamir and, uh, Rhea. It's a difficult good. decision for her, man. Take a breather. Looks like we got him. Good work, everyone. Good work. We barely survived. Right back at you, Gerald. Let's keep it up. Okay. Defensive formations. Not a problem. I've got this. As I was saying, um, I mentioned three houses, Dark Souls 2. Maybe we should try to get ahead of the enemy and cut off their escape. Great minds think alike. Let's go. They're undisciplined. Where do they think they're going? Not a problem. So I'll just go ahead and go to the one distant way up here. Time to I'll go, go to, work. to the one over here. It's got a healing pot. Oh nope. Okay, hold up. She's Time mm. to go to work. Time to go to work. Go to this one. I've got a healing march. pot you can use. I'm on it. You're good. Go to here. Time to move. They've got a durability thing for you. I've got it. And you go to the healing pot up here. On the move. This stronghold will oh. help me at him. Is there a healing pot near me as well? Nope. Is Shamir walking by any other healing pot? Nope. Okay, perfect. Great. Take a brief. Move at my own pace. Whatever. Ah, you clever beasts. We can't permit you to cut us off. I'm trying to cut you off right now. <laughs> Make haste. If we can subdue those strong no, no, we can block off their escape. See those so the dark excavation points. Evacuation points, I mean. I've got it. Here, take him Let's out, because you're solo health girl. I'm gonna have to play as you. You are not going in there with auto gaming. I have to play for you. You're you're just not gonna you're not gonna be able to make it without me doing it. 
It's not you, it's just your level is unbelievably low. And Thunder Rush on literally nothing, followed by Tempest Lance. Thank you. And that's game for him. Good. So now I can clear that one. I'm on it. Run up here. Ah, that sucks. I'm on it. I pray you might force me the pleasure of sacking this place okay. myself. <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> is he trying to impress us? I believe this is how he shows his excitement. And you know what? There's no better way to show He's excitement. Open. Ah, oh, yeah, the hail of ice arrows. Enjoy your eternal sleep. Damn. <clears throat> and just like that, the enemy died of a fear boner. <laughs> Truly, the best way to die. You know what's funny? I went back and watched all the different like cutscenes they have for like the uh, the S ranking from Three Houses. It's funny that she still has my favorite S rank out of anybody I've S ranked so far. Yet, I, I mean, yes, I've only S ranked three, uh, four people, but you still think that somebody else would have got I would have gotten S ranked with somebody else instead. That was solo hell. Time to go to left in me. <laughs> Okay. Catherine, just stay alive for a few seconds, please. Okay. I live for this. must put on a fine show for the captain. As you should, Aloise, as you should. Keep keep doing that show. Jolly good show. And absolutely cooked. Yeah, I said Dark Souls 2, Fire Emblem 3 Houses, Final Fantasy 13. I said another one as well. What was the other game I said? Fi oh, yeah, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah, and I think Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess was probably, like, my first genuine introduction into stuff with, like, really dark vibes to it. I think, Le yeah, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess was, like, my first video game art anything that had, like, a darker tone to it. And was, like, probably the best example of, like, me really enjoying the things with a darker tone. Because, like, I'd played Wind Waker, I had played, ev you know, other games, but once I got to Twilight Princess, I really started to realize how much I love the dark tone, you know, the intense emotions, the, uh, you know, some of the sad and difficult realism of things. And that kind of really bleeds into, like, three, why I like Three Houses and Final Fantasy 16. It's kind of because of, like, Learned what thing or Final, uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess started. To go to work. Sounds good. So. I'll provide support. No, I absolutely I'm on it. love Time those games. So. I'm on it. I've got your back. I've got it. Need some backup? My turn? <laughs> yeah, because I, um, I had never really noticed that... We're sorry. I'd never really, uh, like, played games with a darker tone at that age quite yet. The closest thing I'd played might have been like a few games like a darkish moment here or there but very rarely was the game's like overall theme really like dark and had despair and everything like that i hadn't played played anything with any adult theme well okay adult theme that's a lie i've played i'd played really violent games and i'd played games with dark stuff but i wasn't paying attention to it you know um i had I played Final Fantasy 13 before I truly started playing um, Final Fantasy, or sorry, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And when I played Final Fantasy 13 and then later on played Twilight Princess, that basically caused um, playing both of them around the same age. It, one got me to really pay attention to the other, and it really got me sucked into both of them. Have a good night, Senpai. I knew we shouldn't have shown up for this. No, not Kranya. Sniffed out by beasts. Ha! How fit. Cleobulus is getting careless. Not a problem. I've got this. Time to go to work. 
Sounds good. I'll provide support. I'm on it. Those must be the leaders. Let's finish this. That's what I plan on. Okay. Yeah, no, I feel like those stories are just really impactful to me. I feel like the story of Midna and Link inside of Twilight Princess is an absolutely beautiful one. And I feel like the struggles that Link goes through inside of Twilight Princess were just very real to me. Wow. What the fuck just happened? I think I just know I did not fail the S rank. I almost did, though. I was hoping for another crack. Jesus Christ. Together, yeah. I, uh, and I don't know. I, those are those are the games that immediately come to mind, and I know how much they, how much they impacted me because of how much I played them. Now, see, the problem is though, is like saying my top games. I don't know if I could put those all in order because it's like I have to ask myself, what do I rank them, rank them, rank them off of? You know? Because I absolutely love so many games. It's already hard to just pinpoint it down to five. Not again. Come on, Shamir. What am I going to tell Talus this time? We can tell Talus this time? I don't know. Tell me to fuck himself? Sounds like a good idea. Let that one go. We still have the other. Stand aside. No, I don't have any durability. Oh, I failed the S rank. Are you kidding me? I had the S rank on a fucking silver platter on this difficult ass mission. Whatever. It's thankfully it's just battalions. It's just a battalion. That's all I have to tell myself. It's just a battalion. It's not that deep. Go get it next time. Ah, uh, dude. The next time will be so long from now, it's utterly insane. It's not going to be anytime soon, I assure you. Come here, Mycin. Come on, Shamir. I'm glad you're here, partner. Right back at you. You're done. You know, I will say, I don't know too much about Shamir and uh, Catherine's relationship outside of the bare minimum. I know basically the bare minimum about about them. I know, uh, I know Shamir used to have her old partner that she was with, and then that partner eventually died. And then I know Catherine, I know a li I don't, the Catherine's the main thing I don't know much about. I know quite a bit about Shamir, but I don't know much about Catherine at all. God. Leave my sight. Leave my sight. Stand aside. There we go. I would love for Catherine to clear this up with the help of Shamir, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that. Still here? Bro's taunting me! Whatever, at least I also took too long, so I'm not nearly as mad about the uh, damage. Be back up before I die. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by an attack and I can't see it. I'll take point. <laughs> Let me at him. Imagine getting frozen by the enemy that you're strong against. You hate to see it. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna switch to Shamir. Let me switch to this character. You got my back? 
The camera's gonna be an absolute clusterfuck, but that's okay. Oh god, that's a fright. Oh boy. Uh huh. What are we doing? That that looked correct. That looked like it made sense. Holy shit. Oh, were you aware of the Fire Emblem crossover game for Switch? I was not. not too happy we I was not. Go, but I'd say we achieved our goal. More or less. More or less, a Indeed. little bit. Possibly. But we must report news of the escapees to his majesty. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a deal. I mean, not that I'm complaining. This will make things easier. Well, hello, beautiful. I won't let myself stop here. We did it. I'm exhausted after that mission. That was a that mission was stressful. Okay, do not make me underleveled, please. I'll remember this. You did well. I think I think I had to start some sections over my first go around of that battle. I didn't level up my characters. That's what's really what fucked me over. I I had enough I had enough mithril to make, you know, Thunderbrand be stronger, and I also had enough money to level people up. I just fucking didn't. So when I leave this, I'm gonna go level my characters up. So, yeah. Also, we are two and a half hours in. I've still not done the main mission, so I'm about to do the main mission. Well, that's that. Sure made us work. I'm about to it, go use the bathroom as well. So. And a few still got away. But I think we did pretty well, all things considered. How about you? You didn't do bad, Catherine. You really brought the thunder down on the enemy today, Catherine. Hey, I can't take all the credit. Gerald's the one who led this motley band. And then there's Shamir, Alois, Gustav, and you. None of this works without everyone on the same page. I've not had so thrilling a battle in an age. When will this same group ever take the field again? Maybe never. You may be right. These days I find myself on guard duty in Ferdiad, and you all have plenty going on in your own careers. It is unlikely we'll be together like this again. I can't help but feel a bit wistful. Once, we shared the same mission during the day and broke bread together at night. But now... We could do that again, you know. You could come back to the Knights of Saros. We're short-handed as it is, what with the war and all. I appreciate the invitation, but I left the order so I might continue to fight alongside Geralt and repay my debt to him. What's more, I've come to enjoy the freedom this lifestyle provides me. Yeah, the Merc life has its perks for sure. You sure about this, Alois? If you want to go back, I won't stand in your way. I will need to get more sleep, so have a good night, Edgy. Oh, well, no problem, Edernoise Gaming. I hope you sleep well, and I'm glad I was able to have you in here for a bit. Thank you for po uh, posting the spreadsheet and stuff so I can look at that later to kind of, like, you know, understand what weapon is used for who and everything. So I know if there's any one that I have that I could use for any of the characters without having to think too hard about it. And it's always lovely to, uh, talking with you guys about the video games and all this other stuff. It almost sounds like you don't need me to do your bidding. And you'd rather be Oh, that's such a cool looking a emoji. Doing. That looks badass. Stop. Even if this is our last time together, the experience will give us strength on our separate paths. Let us be satisfied with that. Oh, and when Gerald gets tired of your jokes and kicks you out, we'll still take you back. Oh, my dear Shamir. You know, I've got my differences with the church, so I can't say I miss being a Knight of Saros. But today was pretty fun. If we ever get this chance again, count me in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I might be dumb for the night. That was, I don't know, that level took it out of me. I mean, I was already tired when I got on stream, but Jesus, fuck. I don't know, I might, I might be dumb for the night. I might actually do some editing and stuff, because I've not, I've been really lacking on that end, I'm not going to lie. And this stream has put me in a really, really good mood. And I'm feeling like I could be pretty productive with how good a mood you guys have gotten me in. Think about that. Well, you guys made my evening even go. better. Any results are good yeah, results. we're going to go level up all my characters real quick to a level that I think is reasonable. 
Training can be the difference Level between up and victory reset. and defeat. We got Dimitri, who's at 75. I'd like to get everybody at 55, but that is not what's happening. So 50 is probably going to be the best I can do. <laughs> if that. This strength will serve his majesty well. I'll try to upgrade all the main characters to 50 at least. I've grown a lot. You have, I would say. I think Mercedes will definitely be putting Mercedes at 50. We do not need to put a net at 50 though. Anybody I can't put at 50, I'll put it at least 40. Yeah, so Yiddy's at 57. He's good. Um. I'll put them at 45. Not too shabby for, for an old timer. Uh, um, we're gonna have the church and stuff there, so I should probably level them up. Oh god, it's it's cutting him into my money, chat. The game's finally eating all of my funds. No, my money, it's gone. We're getting close! Oh, no. Now I just need to upgrade Ash. Uh, Ash, you're gonna be one level too low. <laughs> You'll be right at 39, bud. Good job, good job. We're all proud of you. You'll be unstoppable. Oh, my God. Well, now that I'm fucking broke... I carry a little of everything here. There we go. Hope Just so I can have soon. some fucking money. Uh, is there anything you have that I want before I carry a little of everything here. you uh, reset later? No, it doesn't look like. Oh, well. You've got eh. an eye for quality. Fr You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. Okay, we'll buy some gifts. You've got an eye for, eye for quality, friend. You've got an 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 eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Okay. See you again I soon. think that should be good enough for now. Well, chat. I was planning on doing the big mission tonight, but holy shit, that took way longer to clear up all the other stuff than I really thought it would. So uh, we're just gonna call this the fucking filler, <laughs> the filler episode. I'm literally probably gonna call this filler, filler arc stream. And you know what? I'm all for that. I think that would be funny as fuck. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to. Did I break another nail? Oh no, that's the one that's been growing out. I'm so dumb. Yeah, that's the one that's longer. That's the other one that broke. Okay, cool. But I had a great time. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I absolutely loved my time on stream today. And I loved chatting with you guys. Um, and I loved getting to know the characters a little bit better as they got closer. But for now, I hope you all have a lovely evening. And as always, 3, 2, 1. Later, losers. And if you got puns, share them. Okay, Aloise is hilarious. And so are puns. I appreciate them. Okay? Okay.